Bueno, 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 bueno. Hey, buenos dias. What's up, everybody? Welcome back to the number one podcast in the galactic universe of Ultron. My name is Saul Gomez. My name is Hans Esquivel. Sorry, that's kind of distracted me a little bit. What? What? You forgot your name or what? What you said? Is that something distracted you? What? Oh no, the little woo. That's all. Oh, my name is Rex B. And um, quick announcement: you can now listen to our Patreon on Spotify. All you gotta do is go to the Spotify app, go on Bueno Bueno. Click on our show, scroll all the way to the top, and you'll see more exclusive content. And you can get all your Patreon episodes directly to Spotify. So, For real? Yeah, you can check that out. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, that's new. It's a new feature. I, I put in some code and made that happen. Only we have it because I'm fucking sick. Nice. Yeah. Okay. So uh, okay. you can go do that. It's pretty sick. I will post a tutorial. Well, if you're watching on video, you'll see a tutorial where I said that. And uh, yeah. Yeah, so yeah, go check that out. We're uh, active on Patreon, pretty active. Shout out to all the Spotify listeners, all the Apple. Everybody listeners. who's listening online, thank you guys so much. And if you're on YouTube, don't forget to hit that like button. You guys are killing it. So let's keep killing it, all right? And subscribe. And Come subscribe. On. Has the subscribers went up? Like the people that watch. It? I haven't checked because I checked and I get sad. So I just, I just don't check. Oh. Yeah, that's fucked up. Yeah, 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 yeah. Like when you already know you're gonna be disappointed, so you just like, yeah, yeah, yeah. I just don't yeah. want to check because people just don't be subscribing. So it's crazy. Yeah. Just got. Oh, you know who we gaslit? I don't know if you guys saw at the end of the uh, the episode we had. We uh, we gaslit one of our patreons because they unsubscribed. That's the best. Yeah. Uh, we yeah. gaslit. We, <laughs> we gaslit her back. So I want to let you guys know. Once you join the Patreon, you can't leave. Cause we're just gonna gaslight you and get you back in. Bro, I'm the one that noticed it. You see, yeah, we he, had a gaslight. You saw that, and we had a gaslighter back, and we messaged her and DM'd her, be like, "Wow, you really just gonna leave us like that? That's crazy." That's crazy. So once oh, you're in, mm -hmm. it's a warning. Once you get on Patreon, you're not leaving. It's a cult. You're with us forever. You're with us forever. Yeah, you, your soul. You sold our soul. Your soul to us. Yeah, you sold your soul. So, yeah, since we're talking about selling our souls, should we get into the first caller? It's pretty spooky. No, wait, you want you you all, yeah, you yeah, want it? You yeah, want yeah. it? You want it? Give it to me, give it to me, give it to me. All right, let's see, let's see, let's see. Let's Baby, if you give it to me, I'll give it to you. As long as you want. You know I got it. Baby, if you give it to me, I'll give it to you. As long as you want. Does it make me gay that I don't only know the girl part? <laughs> I like that. It's nice. You know the bust the rhyme part? You're eating hot Cheetos, huh? What? You're eating hot Cheetos? No, I just marked it accidentally. You didn't let me. Hello? Bueno, 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 bueno. Oh my gosh. Hi, y'all. Hi, how you doing? <laughs> I'm good. How are you guys? Great. We're great. It's a great Sunday eve uh, afternoon. The sun is shining. It looks good. Yes, the Lord's Day. It's the Lord's Day. That's why we called you on the Lord's Day, because you're scary. Yes. I'm <laughs> glad. I'm so happy you guys called me. Amazing. I know. How's your... Do you have time to talk to us? You got time? I do. I'm actually not doing nothing. <laughs> See, so why do you need a girlfriend? Like, you're never going to get this excitement from anyone that answers the phone because <laughs> you're calling. <laughs> That's crazy. Exactly. Exactly. I know. But uh, no, I appreciate, I appreciate the love you're showing for the, for the show. But uh, let's talk about what you said. You ready? Yes, let's <clears throat> get into it. All right, you say. Okay, so. Wait, wait, let me read it. Let me read it real quick. Let me read it real quick. Okay, yeah, you can go ahead. Right. Yeah. Hey, love the pod. I'm very. What? I'm very. I'm, oh, I'm very Escobar. Yes. <laughs> oh, is that your name? Yes, yes. Oh, nice. I'm very Escobar. And someone did brujeria on me. And I didn't know until I started connecting the dots. And all the dudes I would mess with would have unfortunate events happen to them. And it went on for years, sin saber. Obviously more to it, but I'll keep it short and cute for now. Hope to hear back from you. Oh, shit. Yeah. So, <laughs> you know what's crazy about this? You, what? you basically said every guy I date has something bad happen to them. And you just, yeah. you outed your name out. Like, so now the next person you date, like, they know <laughs> not to date a Vivi Escobar because you're probably going to get in a It's, a, it's okay. Yeah, I, mean, I already got me a leap. Yeah, that. It's okay. All right. It's, hopefully it works. Have you have a, have you, are, are you talking to a new guy yet? Yes, I have a man. Okay. He's, <laughs> he's fine. Like, he's like. Yeah, he's fine. He's alive. All right. Okay, so the live. So what <laughs> happened? What happened to the past ones? Hold on, hold on. All right, let's okay, talk about it. Let's talk about so, it. Okay, yes, let's get to it. So it all started when I started talking to this boy 
probably back in 2020. And he was cool at first. I don't know what happened. But after a few months, nah, probably like a year. So my friend's auntie came from Cali because I'm from North Carolina. So she came all the way over from California, visited. And then she happened to do limpiezas with the eggs. I don't know if y'all got them done before, but that was like my second time doing them. Mm-hmm. But I got a limpieza done with the egg. And then the lady that did it for me, she was like, hey, like, do you have a boyfriend or something? And, I, and I'm looking around like, no. I'm like, girl, hell no, nah, I don't know, man. But like, I obviously wasn't thinking about the guy I was messing with. But because I wasn't dating him, he was not my man. Yeah. Not at all. So I got my limpieza done. She starts telling me like, oh, he does not want to see you with nobody. He's done roots on you. And he's just doing everything so he doesn't see you with nobody. And he's she all she told me was that he's older. So I'm sitting here, I'm like, what the freak? Like, who does put these roots on me? Like, I'm about to have, I'm about to never find the love of my life because of this man. So a few months go by again, and the guy texts me because we, we had stopped talking at that point. He texts me, and he's like, basically admits to like, hey, like I did roots on you the last time I saw you, and it backfired, and oh, that's wow. the reason why he texted me. Yeah, and the reason how or how he did it was, well, he got a piece of my hair, and I don't know how any of this brujeria voodoo, voodoo shit works, so I don't know. So basically, he got a piece of my hair the last time we saw each other, and then from then on. He had a bracelet or a necklace or something with my name on it, and it <laughs> broke. It was so weird. It was so weird. It broke, right? Bro, can but you imagine that shit? Broke, this bitch just huh? randomly just pulled a piece of her fucking hair out. Blah. Was, like, what was it what like? Doing? Well, it was probably like during sex, no, or some shit. Like, how did that happen? Yeah. Did, uh, was during yeah, sex? It was. Oh, yeah. Know, hey, for all you ladies hearing right now, listening, you guys have to be Y'all careful. Y'all be safe out here for yeah, real. Don't be, don't be letting real. no man grab your hair. You, you know, that's a whole hair. different level of toxic. I never reached that level before. I never even thought about doing brujo. Want to get before. to that level? I, like, I used to just be like manipulative, but I think now I'm gonna turn into a brujo dead ass. So, bro, you're hey, sick. Are you supposed to grab something like out yeah, of them? Like yeah, you a need nail, like a nail or yeah, like something of like that is them picture a shirt. Yeah, so we something. got shirt. Yes, all that crazy. Stuff. The fuck? Right, so, yeah. yeah, keep it going, keep it going. Okay, so damn, where was I at? Um, he um took your hair. Oh yeah, yeah. So he took it, whatever, and he, I guess he put it with a necklace or bracelet with my name on it. And at that point, we had already stopped talking. So I'm messing with somebody else, and the necklace, bracelet, whatever it was, it broke. And he texted me. He said, "Hey, did you have sex with somebody?" Oh. And me, I lied. I said, "Uh, no." He was like, "You're lying. You're lying." My necklace bracelet broke. I did voodoo on you the last time I saw you, so you're lying because it broke and this and that. And I'm like, hold on, hold the fuck up. I'm like, it's him. Yo. I connected all the dots. But, but like in the meanwhile, like before he told me, I was talking to this one dude, and I took him to I think his cousin's house, and he got in a fight, and he ended up getting like a like he literally got gushed in the eye. His mm. whole eye was cut and right. So I took him to the hospital, got him stitched up. That was fine. Cool. Then I started talking to him. Start talking to somebody else. He gets in a fight. He gets gashed in the opposite eye. I had to take him to the same hospital and everything. And it was so weird because the face, the look on his face, it was just the same as that as the first dude. I'm like, holy shit. I'm like, this is so weird. Because how do both of them are getting cut in their eye? An eye for an eye. Take That's them crazy. to the same hospital. Yeah, in the eye. I was like, holy shit. So then, cool, stop talking to him. Start talking to somebody else. Dang, he has a, he had a like stone, huh? That's crazy. <laughs> <laughs> stop. Stop. Man, like, so, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so I was talking to the other dude. He had a troca. Dude, his whole throat got, got demolished. Oh my god! Oh my fucking god! Like Lord. he got total. And but a few days before he lost his truck, there were crows surrounding his truck. Oh, well, there was what crows? Yeah. Fucking uh-huh. birds. Crows. Nah. Them big ass birds. Who yeah. is this man was, that you were fucking with? This fool's a fucking. He's, the, he's fucking. What's that dude <laughs> from Avengers? The motherfucker. F- Doctor oh, Strange. He's Doctor Strange. You're dating Doctor Strange. Nah, he's the same motherfucker that did the the fucking he's crazy. The spell on, on Chucky in the movie. Oh yeah. 
Damn. That's what it felt like. Yes. Oh, no, hold on. There's more. Then oh. I was talking to this other guy. and uh, he... Where the fuck are you finding these guys? <laughs> no, nah, it's you. It's you. It's you. I, think, I think the you guy think was trying. I think the I'm guy was trying. Oh, I figured it out. So the, you messed up that guy so bad that he's like, I can't let you hurt any of more, any more men. So um, I'm going to put a curse on you so you can stay away from men. He's trying to protect the other no, man. No, no, no way. Yeah. He messed me up. Uh, uh-huh. No, it was crazy. But yeah, the guy, I guess he let his friend borrow his car. His friend totaled his whole fucking car. Oh can't get a car. He has no job. It was awful. Does your, um, does that ex, does he do like, does he do services? Like if I contract him? Mm, possibly. Mm. <laughs> wow. the, yeah, does your does your man know about all this shit? Oh yeah, is that something you, like oh, a yeah. conversation you have with people? Yes, I definitely told him. I was like, hey, like just to let you know, someone did do voodoo on me, but like I'm pretty sure that's gone. It's clean. I'm clean now. <laughs> She's like, like, hey, <laughs> make sure you drive safe. <laughs> yeah. So whatever right. was actually happening, home, what ended up happening to that guy, the guy that did the brujeria? Yeah. So um, I want to say that. Oh my gosh. And you know how, how I told you guys that it backfired on him? Yeah. Literally every car that he got is gone. He wrecks it. He will wreck it all the time. No car. And I was like, mm, karma. Where's, Karma's a bitch. Where's this dude from? Um, he's from somewhere in North Carolina. This is these are we're all, these are all North Carolina folks. What is he white? No. What is he? He's more than no. Is he like from Haiti like Haiti or what? Yes. Yeah, that motherfuckers are crazy. <laughs> They're insane. Yeah, they yeah they do a bunch of witchcraft. Um, you gotta watch out when, for them. When was the last time you talked to this man? Um, so me and my man been together for a little over a year, so it's been probably over a year now. Mm. Nice. Okay. Yeah. So what usually? How long was the uh, the gap of? when things would happen was there like a similarity of gaps it's like oh after like in three months something happens three i was literally about to say three months yeah i'm familiar with witchcraft yeah um, the number's three every time it's always three <laughs> it's always three it's always three. <laughs> three damn that is wild so why did y'all break up so i wouldn't say we were dating but we were definitely messing around for a while um Wait, hold on no no, nice. no 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 when you uh, say a while how long is a while a while probably like a year and a half damn so then why didn't you okay so then <laughs> did what? he never ask you out or what yeah. that's a while a yeah no th- this is what yeah l- literally the reason why it starts because i was just over it. i was like um no dates no he doesn't spend no money nothing like i'm not about to keep doing this with yeah you. but he has magical then, powers yeah i don't know so you didn't want to be with him because he didn't because he didn't have money he didn't have money no 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 he i wouldn't say he didn't have money but uh, he didn't have money okay I'm a- now, who needs who needs money when you have fucking magical powers <laughs> like right you, you have see he powers, probably so did that brujeria on you because he's like now nah, this girl just wants this all right bet i'm gonna fucking do brujeria. i don't blame him uh, you don't blame him <laughs> I, don't blame him. <laughs> I will hope you're not doing witchcraft on nobody no no yeah, that's great. Yeah. hans just hit you with the that's what you get that's what you get he just oh gasped you as well um, hans don't be talking shit <laughs> Damn. Um, so, like, nothing happened to you, though? It was always just, your like, the men you were with? Yeah, it was always just the guys. It was never me. And then I would be like, damn, like, what am I doing wrong that all these men are just running away from me? I really thought I was the problem. Yeah, but you're not. I could tell there's a lot of men in North Carolina. She's, she's, she's a lot talking of what? to a lot of men. Talking to a lot of men in North Carolina? <laughs> They're not worth nothing. That's why. I didn't know North Carolina got down. Like, well, I mean... No, I was like, I don't think there's a lot of scary shit that happens over there. I know, like, over there in Boston. In the South? What? Oh, yeah. yeah. North Carolina is technically the South, right? Oh, that's... Yeah, Yeah. you're right. You're right. That's where the whole fucking... And then South Carolina is, like, that's where the real... Right below us. Yeah. It's, like, the real... South Carolina is scary. That's the real... Georgia? Oh, yeah. Georgia is scary, That's the motherfuckers that be, like, in a rocking chair with a shotgun chewing on wheat. You get my we dude. have sundown towns on this Look, side. Keep, keep on my lawn, boy. Yeah, that's, <laughs> that's what they that said. You Mexican, boy. You Mexican, boy. I don't like your brown color. <laughs> you go back to Mexico. That's what they say. That's what they say. South yeah, Carolina that's literally crazy. what they like. Wow. 
Damn. Uh, so when uh, so when you did the you. when you did the Olympia, so it was confirmed that you did have someone yes. who had a hex on you. Yeah. yeah. Mm. And they traced she it back me. to that dude. Yes. Well, yes. A few months later, because remember, oh, I told you he texted me after the bracelet necklace broke. Oh, and then that's where you're like, oh. You're right, you're right. Yeah, and then that's when I was like, Damn. oh shit, it was you. That's pretty cool though. <sighs> like if you had a like if you have a partner and like you want to know if they're like cheating on you, you're like, here, here, wear <laughs> this. It's like here, wear <laughs> this. <laughs> and then like once they For like real, though. and if they have sex with you, like it breaks, like, oh shit, they cheated on I me. I wonder how many times they she cheated, like yeah. like ran through like she got, like she she like collected the stones and every time that her <laughs> that food's bracelet broke. Bro, uh, that fool was, was making so that curse like Adam Zaroni. Adam Zaroni. <laughs> <laughs> I have a yeah. great question. I have a question. Yes. Oh, Adam Zaroni. Yes. Was it? How many times did you have sex before he texted you? Um, twice. Oh, uh, and it didn't break the first time. No. It probably just loosened up the first time. Mm. No, right, like huh? the first time. Like I feel like the I first time. It, huh? Yeah, like first time you just suck dick. And then the second time is when you like really went in, you know. And then that's I when it finally, the time. <laughs> yeah. Mm -hmm. And that's when it shattered. Like this bitch. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and then the third time you do anal and it catches on fire. <laughs> He's like, oh, you lost yeah, it. Yeah, he bro. just it just freaking exploded on him. He yeah, lost it. That's wild. Well, that's good to know. Yeah. To be honest, I don't want to get me one of those. Yeah, you definitely don't because <laughs> it'll have you questioning your whole self. Wow. Did you believe in witchcraft before this? I did, but I didn't think it would happen to me. Oh, yeah. That's how they get you. And no cap. You. I was like, oh, hell no. I was like, I thought I was protected. I thought I was the good energy. That's why, Loki, you have to, you have to like, be careful who you sleep around with, bro. Yeah, you can't just be giving your energy out yes. like that. I, I, I believe yes. in that shit now. I learned, I remember, yeah. Uh, people I definitely would say that. learned that. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, I think whoever... Uh, it's a transfer of energies when you sleep uh, together with people. And if they have, like, negative energy attached to them, you, you kind of like swap energies. So I'm, that's why sometimes when people have one night stands, yes. they feel drained the next day. I don't know if you guys ever experienced yes. that. Yes. Yeah. So that's. Yes. It. I used to mess with this one guy and he was super, super productive, like working on cars. Why we do the deed. Right. And then a few weeks later, why am I doing my own um, oil change? <laughs> she starts building a house. And oh, shit. Yeah. <laughs> that's dope. I'm going to start doing that. I'm going to start sleeping with like. Sleep, sleep with a fucking multi-millionaire <laughs> yeah i'm sleeping multi-millionaires and stuff now that's crazy. for real wow damn that's energy does transfer energy transfers you hear that ladies and gentlemen yeah. stop sleeping with bums not <laughs> sleeping with just anybody these people do not have good intentions yeah but dang that was very interesting <laughs> and crazy is there anything left you want to yes. share with that or is that all um no another little crazy story of mine my ex had a baby on me <laughs> but that was it wait what my ex had a baby on me the one before this brujeria dude your ex had a baby on, on you yes she got another girl pregnant i mean he got yes. another girl pregnant oh, oh. Yes. yeah uh, i'm a boomer i don't understand mm -hmm. yeah i didn't know that i didn't know what that meant oh sorry guys <laughs> oh, okay boomer, <laughs> boomer. 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 <laughs> damn you know me, young, young lit. lit, and just living life. Well, yes. I'm, I'm assuming that hurt you. Oh yeah, I started crying. Mm. I, re I remember, I remember the same exact word. I was like, "Why the fuck would you do that to me?" And then I started crying, and I just blocked him. Good, I that's what time. Good, yeah, because I feel like not enough people just block and move away and, and just go away. Oh yeah, I feel like yeah. Me, I love the block button. Me too. You don't mute people. I'm a muter. Like, mm, like you guys sometimes. are getting along right now. I know she feels. I don't see. I, I feel like you're cool. Like yeah, you dope. I am. I, I wouldn't do it. Like join the group I chat. Am. Like join the group chat. We fuck around and shit. Yes, add me to the group chat. <laughs> hell nah. Hey, where are we going? Oh no, we're gonna get. Yeah, hell nah, get your booty ass up out of here. <laughs> <laughs> that, that dude's gonna come Shut for us now. <laughs> fuck yeah. We all like, our on the way back. I home. know we're all gonna. Get, oh hell no. Yeah. Nah. <laughs> You should um <laughs> give us that guy's number. No, I want to talk nah. to him. I, you can talk nah, to him on your own. Oh my god, that, I should, that is true. Call. Call. Yeah. But well, I mean, they well, do a lot of witch. Yeah, they, they do a lot of witchcraft. They, they do. They do. Mm. I think the doll one is great. Mexican people too. Mexican, yeah. I think Mexican people yeah, really be getting into Mexicans, that shit. They do a lot of witchcraft too. Yeah, they're yeah everybody. <sighs> but I, I feel like witchcraft as a race. I think it's just everybody that that fucking down yeah. bad. But Haitians are the ones that they, they, that yeah. That's where I, th I don't mind say. I might say it originated there, but that's what they do. I see, every time I see a movie about like 
Witchcraft. Witchcraft or something. It's always in the Exorcist, yeah. the newest Exorcist believer. Yeah, that had to do with that. But wow, if there's anybody listening who's a, a medium or like does crazy shit, just call us. I'm down to talk. But like, you got to put a, like a cool energy hex around us so no one can fuck with us. <laughs> for real. Yeah, but uh, I think that will wrap up this call. Thank you so much for sharing this. That yes, was fun. Thank you for calling me. No, thank you for answering and bringing your lovely energy. I can tell that of that course. hex is not affecting you. You're a strong, powerful queen. That's I am. Thank you. <laughs> like, I will be watching your podcast. We're besties. Like we're They're, besties. Oh, like we haven't we even said besties. anything. I feel like you uh, and her just get, matching right now. Yeah, we just had a hot conversation. Matching energy. Uh, hey, Capricorn. Yes. Capricorn? Are you a Capricorn? No, I'm a Gemini. Oh, never mind. Bye bye. Get out of here. <laughs> Crap. No, Get the fuck out of here. <laughs> Crazy ass. It, you were the problem, actually. I don't blame your ex. You, it was you. I was the problem. Yeah. I, I, I started it all. Yeah, you started it. Definitely. Wow. I'm, uh, we'll let you go. Thank you so much for taking the call. Thank you. No, you don't bye. fuck with it? Yeah, I don't fuck with it anymore. <laughs> bye. Uh, bye. 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 Yeah, man, Gemini's, bro. Stay away from See, all How your mood dog. changed after your hair? Hell yeah, dog. <laughs> bro, I used to not believe in that and like those fucking Zodiac signs, but I believe in that shit now. I didn't believe in them either until every girl that fucked me over was a Gemini. You and attract I was, Gemini? I attract oh Gemini's God. and always fuck me over. I, honestly, no, I, like, like jokes aside, no, Aaron, I don't Aaron doesn't watch this podcast, but... And I know Aaron used to get mad. Oh, well, I stopped saying that stupid ass zodiac signs. Yeah, I believe that shit, bro. I used to be like Aaron, but right, I believe it. After the call, let's read our zodiac sign for the day. <laughs> I'm, I'm down. down. But let's read the bad ones, though. I'm like, down. I'm down. See I, what we're gonna get to. I have the I have the co-star app. We can, oh my god! <laughs> I uh, see, I'm not to that extent. Yeah, I fucking knew. I my head, I'm like, sound knows his shit. I got that shit. <sighs> All right, let me see. Like, you're see. the type to talk to a girl and ask her what was her ex's sign. And she's like, well, he was a Taurus. Yeah, it's because it was Taurus. Like, this shit don't be working That's out. That's a good thing to ask, to be honest. Oh, he started. Right See so what you did? I got I'm going to write that one down. But this one's fun. Kill Switzerland, though. What? Ah, fuck. Is he not? Bueno, bueno. Bueno, bueno. Bueno, bueno. Oh, shit. Yeah. What's up? Yeah, what's up? Yeah. You jacking up? Or? Yeah. 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 Oh shit! I didn't think that would actually happen. Oh, we're here, die. We are here. We are here live from the Madison Square Garden Arena, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome <laughs> to Bueno Bueno Podcast. You're... Oh shit! I dude, honestly, I just submitted it to see if you guys would call. When did you submit it? When did you, submit, you submit, it? submit this? Was uh the Wednesday, 23rd, Thursday, twenty third? Yep, the twenty third. Thursday. Uh, but you got time to talk to us. Oh yeah, sure. Fuck yeah! You actually have a good, you have a great topic because <laughs> me and Hans are kind of talking about this earlier. Who said fuck you? But you said a big life decision. I want to quit my job to pursue my dream of being a professional wrestler, but I've been unsure about if I should. Let's talk about it. Let's talk about it. Let's talk about it. <clears throat> so, how deep are you in right now? Like, yeah. how deep are you into this wrestling thing? Uh. I've always just planned to do it as soon as I got out of high school. Because, you know, growing up, everybody wants to do that dream yeah. job as a kid, right? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Wait, so, so real, real quick, you, you just graduated high school? Uh, No, I've been out of high school, what, I graduated 2019? Mm -hmm. Oh, wait, so how old are you? Have you trained? 20, 20 21, 20? 21. Uh, 23, or 22, nice. sorry. Okay. Have you been training, like, in these years, or, like, you're still, like, you're just, like, raw right now? Uh, I haven't been training honestly. You haven't put the but smack it's been down like yet. Yeah, you what I said. What? Like, nice bro. If it's nice and low, bro. <laughs> I'm 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 from Hawaii, so this shit is expensive either way. So Ooh, Hawaii, ah, oh, bro, we can be on the phone forever. Are you Samoan? Uh, no, I'm not Samoan. It's kind of racist. Don't get us confused, That's bro. Don't get us confused. No, my bad. I don't, I'm fucking. I'm asking. There's Samoans. There's That's, Tongans. Hey, there is Samoans like in the, Hawaii, but. That's, that's not, like me that's, calling you Honduras, bro. Honduran, come on. <laughs> I don't know from your from your voice. I thought you were Samoan. I don't know. I, I'm Hawaiian. I'm Hawaiian. Different story. Different. We different places, but we in know, the same area. Your first match should be versus Rex. <laughs> <laughs> I would take Rex yeah, down, yeah. bro. These hands is trained. I send your undies to South. I so okay. So going back, you said you have, you uh you did train or you haven't trained yet? Uh, oh, but you said I it's expensive, right? Yet. That shit is expensive. Yeah, you look up the cheapest one; it's probably eighteen hundred at most. 
For what? Mm, wrestling class. For training school, yeah. Oh, 1800 shit. what? Like a month or just like for the year? 1800 for the year, but most places they make you pay like 500 down payment and then you go and train mm. and then you pay that off as you go. All right, this is this is my advice. My advice is a um an investment in yourself is always worth it. Mm. So um if you think that like oh, I don't know if I'm a reg- I, 100% you won't regret the 1800. A lot of times people spend like over 1500 to 2000 dollars on things they end up not ever using ever again at the library. Yeah, like the library at the strip club. But um, trust, like put that shit on credit or something. Take out like, but you would not, re- that's your number one thing. You will not regret investing yourself ever. You'll never regret that. Now talk to him like Gary Vee. You know what I was doing at your age right now? I would have <laughs> took out a loan. I would have put an LLC under that loan. Uh-huh. I would have paid that off and made that account go bankrupt. So yeah. now I didn't even have to pay that. It would yeah. get sent to collections. I wouldn't even pay the collections. I'll go. I'll file a, a 1049. And then from the 1049, I just, I don't know the fuck I'm talking about. <laughs> I thought you did. I'm like, what? Hey, what's hey, the it doesn't, hey, it doesn't help my mom does taxes. I ain't trying to do tax evasion right now, dog. Oh, hell yeah, bro. <laughs> fuck. I, I'm, a, I'm a fan for tax evasion. Pause. Um, but um, no, yeah, honestly, bro, you, you're not going to, you're not going to regret it. I would say you're still super young. I know like in wrestlers, usually like wrestlers usually get into the league, like, like upper 20s you know like higher 20s. yeah i think mid 20s is I mean, when they I mean, first when they start i mean we haven't had a young wrestler in a while in a minute yeah but yeah I, I honestly bro i feel like it's in your blood you know like i feel like whether you're hawaiian samoan tongan i don't know the other uh proper small, uh, small kind racist but we good we good don't worry hey i'm mexican this, this is so racist nah, here, what the fuck? you basically, said, I'm mexican. You basically <laughs> said like oh you're no, mexican no, so you got no, soccer no, no, in no. your blood Hell it's not yeah. it's not look, it's not racist yeah, dude it's not racist to hold ask because we don't, hold we don't hold know. Hold That's like me telling uh, so all like, bro, if you do, if you join a mariachi, that makes sense. You good? Yeah, you that you that. That. that's what he said. It's not. It's not racist. It's um, what's the word? It's um, ignorant. It's not ignorant go. because you don't know. It's not bad to ask. <laughs> but you uh, think you, about you just it. gotta ask, not not do a like not do a statement. But going back. I, I just did math. It was a question. It was a question. <laughs> it's only $150 a month. So what you do every... You're selling the course. <laughs> yeah, like, basically for the you're whole selling, year. You're selling, you're selling it to me, but I'm just... I did the $1,800 as an example. The school down here is four grand. God damn. God Four. Okay, let's let's look into that. So four thousand. So four that's grand. bro. That's, oh my that's really... Wow. That's only that's $333 a, a month um a week that's 83 dollars a week put aside 80 put put aside 85 dollars a week for the whole year and that's not even that's that's gonna be it won't it won't be light but it's definitely gonna be worth it and then next year you have it it's all about long-term investments people like if you really want it you would put aside the 80 dollars every week and then when you have it next year you'll be like this took me so long to get here that i'm really i'm not just gonna fuck off i'm really i'm gonna put my time and energy into this Cause I know how long it took me to get here, and you're gonna want it even more. So only yes, sir. Yes, sir. only eighty dollars a week for a year, and uh, you're good, bro. Trust. And that will show you how if you really want it. If you really want it. That's true. That's that. That's true on that. Yeah. So how am I selling a dream for you, bro? <laughs> oh, that, have you? My- uh, let me ask you: Have you gotten any matches? Like any like local matches mm. in a sense? No, no. Nah. How's, are you working I, hard I right now? Ne- are you are you working full time? I'm working full time and going to school full time. So mm. oh, have you have gotta you figure any, that out? Have you seen any YouTube tutorials? <laughs> <I don't know. laughs> I've been watching wrestling my whole life. I tell you what, my hands is trained. I can I can whack somebody on the chest even feel that bitch this for is, a while. This is what you're gonna do. You're gonna start your own league. All right, you're gonna start your own league, <laughs> bro. I'm not even that lying. That's expensive, bro. I'm not even lying. You're gonna start your own ring. I mean, your own league. So you gonna? Do you have any other homies that are like into this, or are you like the only one? What What is that? Own league, like and all, his own league. Like he's gonna do like a backyard promotion, brother. Promotion, or promotion, promotion. Yeah. promotion. But first, you just start off like a, you start your own thing, right? So this is what you're gonna do. You create a community. And then you guys, you the all put in, you all put in to like buy a ring or make your own ring. And uh, you just, you guys just start training each other 
and like you guys just training with each other and that's going to create noise that's going to create buzz and then there's going to be people that be like oh you know what like i can really help these kids and you can even ask for like donations and stuff it's uh at the end of the day bro youtube university just find people YouTube with the university. same common interests get them together be like yo let's get there but this is how we're going to start we're going to help each other out and then um you guys can even do like fundraisers to help you guys like get to the uh to get the trainings and and then bro you're going to get in the local newspaper charles bro sign me as your manager <laughs> let me get my consejo i i think the in the time we are right now uh -huh. i think he should really push more content of him yes, trying to 100 to do wrestling on tiktok and see if yeah. somebody will appreciate his you know his work and everything and then Kind of tell them, look, bro, let me pay for your stuff, you know? Exactly. Yeah, that's 100%. That's what I'm saying. Start your community, record, document the whole thing, put that shit on TikTok, mm -hmm. and hopefully, like, Dwayne The Rock Johnson sees that shit, and he's like, here's, yeah. here's a couple, here's a life 50,000, you know? Yeah, kind of oh, like yeah, a oh, POV yeah. to start, like, oh, it's my third day trying wrestling. Yeah, yeah. Learning yeah. to be a wrestler. Honestly, third, honestly. third day out of uh, fucking 200, and, or how many, 365 days out of the year? So oh, third yeah. day out of three, 365 days. Yeah. I mean, trying to become a professional, a professional wrestler. wrestler. And then you just like, you just try different types of uh, exercises. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Life, honestly, at the end of the day, life is easy. You just gotta, you just gotta do it. That's it. <laughs> well, that's, that's great advice to me, man. Cause I'm, I'm, I'm a kid who grew up being teased and harassed a lot. So I never had the kind of self-confidence. You take that shot. You do it. Self-confidence is down the drain. <laughs> Bro, I'm gonna tell you right now, the best way to gain your self-confidence is by helping other people boost their confidence. So if you just have insane delusion where you're like, I'm going to make this shit happen. And then you get a community, you get like two or three other people and you inspire them. You might, you yourself might not be confident, but as long as you inspire other people, you to be confident first, you have to believe you're confident first. So you have to trick yourself into being confident. And then once other people think you're confident, then it starts leaking into you. So get two more people and be like, Hey, I have an idea. It's going to work. You guys just got to trust me. And uh, it just uh, organically just happens. Oh, that's that's good shit. Thank you. I'm cooking, man. I'm off the prime. And what about what about school? Are you planning to still finish school and everything? Uh, I'm trying my best at the moment. I'm planning to study to become a teacher. Oh, mm -hmm. okay. Okay. No, that's good. He, he, he still has like a back, you know. Mm-hmm. That's the reason why I went to school. I said, hey, I need a backup plan in case this wrestling shit don't work out. <laughs> Me, personally, want my Gary V side? Gary V said, go yeah, for let it. Let him have it. Let him have it. I would say, fuck a plan B. I say, go all in. All in. So, I, I feel like you said that to a girl. Fuck the plan B. Let's... <laughs> <laughs> That's funny. You got me. You got me. You got me. You got me. That's a good joke. You got me. That one. You got me. That one. Um, I mean, try it, bro. Like, yeah, fuck the plan B. Let's go all in. Do you not trust the universe? Come on. Um, yeah, I think, uh, bro. Honestly, just just start off. All you gotta do is just start. Just watch tutorials and shit. Find a friend or two. Practice some wrestling moves together. Oh, you know, have you seen those wrestling guys on TikTok that they be body slamming people into like the, like some kids selling lemonade and then they're like, fuck your lemonade. Bow, oh, and they body oh, and there's the, the kid, right? Yeah. They slam the kid. In the yeah, yeah, yeah. That's you got to just do that with your homies. Yeah. Ugh. Do you have any like this homies in, into that? Honestly? Nah, the <laughs> I work too much and I go to school too much. Hmm. I ain't got no homies. The only guys I play like I play games with. That's the only guys I got. Have you have you gone to any like local backyard wrestling matches or any local wrestling matches? That's the thing that doesn't happen here. Yes, there has to be. Yeah. I bet I can find something right now. I can I can tell you there's a there's a place that runs wrestling shows and whatnot, but their shows are far in in between. Like, I think the next one I had seen is maybe in July. Mm. June or July, so even if there's backyard kids, those guys don't do that kind of stuff anymore. Yeah, I was the 2000s man. It's faded. I think um, it's definitely it's pretty tough, but you just gotta you just gotta tell, start telling people that this is what you want, and you're gonna start attracting people with similar um, interests. I get it. I get it. Thank you. 
Of course. You know what I'm surprised, bro? You're really supporting us from all the way from Hawaii. I know. Shout out to Hawaii. Shout bro. out to you, bro. No problem. I I listened to I and Friends first. Yeah. Then I found out Bueno Bueno, and then I was like, eh, I don't know about Bueno Bueno. I, I rock with the IE. But... Oh, wow. Damn. That's why it's usually the but, other way hey, But both of you guys are, both of you, both, both stations, both podcasts, you guys are doing, are doing great. I love the product. You guys are great with it. That's why. Thank you. Thank hey, you, bro, bro, quick question. How do you feel about people going to Hawaii? Like, like tourists? Uh, mm. If I'm, if I'm honest about it, Technically, Hawaii doesn't belong to the U.S. Yeah, yeah, that's true. And the technicality that we don't belong to the U.S. You know, all your favorite uh, products, like let's say, you know, the fruit company Dole. Yeah. Mm-hmm. His great grand uh, grandfather, he's one of the guys who overthrew the kingdom, the original Hawaiian kingdom. Mm. Oh shit! So he's when it like comes to, out? he's he actually. So the history goes that he wrote a letter saying that all the uh, immigrants from the United States coming to Hawaii are being killed, attacked, mauled by the Hawaiians and the rest of the Hawaiian people. So then they send this ship to Hawaii with a bunch of Marines, find out everything is alive, but they still try to annex the islands. Oh, shit. But when it comes to the tourists, I don't mind them. It's just... Sometimes they can be very rude. Sometimes they can be very friendly. It's mm. a hit or miss with them. Gotcha. Yeah. Sometimes they be just they miss be mistaking you for Samoans. Uh, if you know your thing, probably. But Samoans, Hawaiians, Tongans, we all look different. Uh-huh. We all kind of look similar. But yeah, you can tell a Samoan from a Tongan. You just never tell them. Hey, you Tongan or you Samoan? Mm-hmm. Or they're gonna smack you. Yeah, yeah, that's how I feel when white people think I'm Mexican. You know. Honduran, we don't like your kind. <laughs> yeah, you barely found out about Honduras, but okay, my boy. Okay, my boy. Um, <laughs> you drive a Jeep? <laughs> oh, you don't like that? You probably got a Toyota, uh, what, a Toyota what? Tundra? Tundra. You go surfing? No, I do not. You eat pineapples? <laughs> you eat poke? Poke? <laughs> it's poke, and yes, I eat poke. poke. Yeah, but poke not pineapples, bro. Pineapples isn't even from here. Wow. What I'm about the, you know majority of your pineapples come from fucking <laughs> Puerto Rico? You know that, right? Nah. Damn. Um comes from Puerto Rico. Is it true? There's a uh, there's this myth I'm fascinating by fascinated by about Hawaii. It's like the um I totally forgot their names. I'm drawing blank, but it's like uh there's the night marchers, the night the marchers, Manahunes. yeah, the, uh, the night marchers. It's like the little like the uh, they're like the smaller, no, and then they go like no, that's many hoonies. Oh man, that's oh. many hoonies. What's that? Ma- uh, many Hunas are known as like little men who they build these amazing structures during the nighttime while everybody's sleeping. Mm. And then when you come back the next day, you can see that they've built something. It's a it's a myth and not a myth. Oh, Depends shit. on what island you're on. Mm. It, what island are you on? Uh, I'm on the capital island, Oahu. Oahu. If you go to Hawaii, uh, Hawaii Island, there's a lot more myths and tales there than anything else. Like That's why I, I like try to stay away from there as much as possible. I like how you say Hawaii because people people from Hawaii say say it proper. That's what they say. Yeah, right? I love yeah. your guys' accent. I've I have yeah. this thing like I love 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 Hawaii. Like I've been I think like 2020, I was gonna take a, a solo trip to Hawaii and just get like a. I just wanted to rent out like a shack and then just be out there in the like just be out there like next to the waves. During like you know, COVID? like no, you know, surfs up. Remember surfs up? Oh yeah. yeah. You know how he's just like in that. <laughs> I wanted that so so. Like bad. I said, man, you want to do that? That shit is expensive. Good luck. Yeah. Surfing. <laughs> okay, so surfing in general is cheap. I'm not gonna lie. You can buy a board. You can rent a board. But if you're gonna be staying somewhere. You better be looking for a cheap place because yeah. most of the hotels rack up to like a grand or two, mm-hmm. depending on where you're staying. I was, I was looking going this March. I saw round trips were like two, actually to Oahu, round trip three hundred dollars. Round trip, oh. yeah. exactly. That's, that's what I'm saying, dog. Amazing. It's expensive. But uh, yeah, I know. I know the. Um, what do you? I was gonna ask. What do you, What do you think about the natives that are moving out of you know Hawaii and going you know going to moving to the states to live a cheaper life? Uh, it's upsetting most of the time. But other than that, <laughs> oh. 
bro. <laughs> Volcano about to erupt. That's just my work phone, man. <laughs> I can't even joke. You can't joke. Man. My bad, my bad. <laughs> chill, 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 chill. Are you there? Yeah, I'm still here. Uh, what about, remember when uh, you guys got that uh, the alert that there was like missiles coming? What? Oh, yeah. I wasn't even at my own house when that happened. What happened? I wasn't even at my own house when that happened. What? I was in school. You say he was at school. Oh, so I hear people screaming in the back. Is that here? Yeah. Oh, it's a I TV. Not... I got scared. I was like, what the fuck is that? My bad. There's a TV. I was like, what, the, what was that? But um, you said you were at school when that happened? Yep. Damn, were you scared? Uh, I had a wrestling tournament that day. So when the alert went off, I was telling everybody, hey, if, you, if this missile hit, I got you. I protect you. <laughs> I was ready to die. I told him, let's fuck it over. Hell yeah. That's the thing with like... This was a good spirit. I know. This is cool. I love Hawaiians, bro. They're dope. My cousin just did... My cousin's dating a Hawaiian. Like, I'm talking to that dude the whole time. Like, fucking sick ass dude. Yeah. But, um... Yeah, bro. So, chase that wrestling dream. Also, got a question for you. Um, yeah. Do you watch wrestling right now? Yes, I do. Did you watch the Royal Rumble? I did. What'd you think? Bullshit. Bullshit. You thought I know I thought a lot of Puck the, was gonna win too. I got I was mad. I was upset. I didn't even watch the men's rumble all the way and I could tell you who already won that. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Man, you know the women's rumble was way more entertaining for me. Because uh, I yeah. I look at all the different wrestling around the different country. Like I watch more Japan than anything else. Mm -hmm. Okay, let's hit him with fire questions. Eddie Guerrero or Rey Mysterio? Easy dog. E that's an easy I'm question. An, I'm an Eddie fan, but I appreciate Ray. Ray is the reason why I got into wrestling. Oh, wow. Oh, yeah, Hit him right. with another. Hit him with another. All right. Are Ken, is Kane and Undertaker really brothers? Huh? They are not. Yep. I, I was so but they were called the brothers of this. Um, they're called the brothers of destruction for a reason, though. Yeah. Hmm. What about you, Hazel? Hit him give with him a, give him Let's a see if you know. <laughs> okay. WWE trivia right here. Let me see. Um, John Cena or Randy Orton? Randy. Yeah. Why? Why? I'm not a C I'm not a Cena guy, but I appreciate that Cena is the one superstar who has different merch across everyone. Mm. Randy is just cause my mom grew up watching Randy. I grew up watching Randy. Randy Orton's been like the GOAT for the longest time. Yeah. Mm. What about um which brother from the Hardys are is the best brother? Jeff. Yeah, Jeff. Hands down. It just sucks. He's got a whole drug thing. Are you also annoyed already that Roman Reigns has been the head of the table since 2020? Like, <sighs> yes. Honestly, yes. I'm annoyed. This yeah, shit has to dumb. end. Yeah, it's just dumb, bro. I was I was pissed off when they Undertaker should have never ended his streak. That should that that's that what, was never supposed to happen. Right, he got injured. Right. Yeah. Yeah, it was never supposed to happen. It's just crazy. What do you, What do you think about uh, Trip, uh, Triple H being the head of WWE right now? I like I, personally. It's the best choice. I think so too. What do you think about? Because he was the head of NXT. Mm. Mm. What do you think about um, the Rock? The Rock just uh, the, the Rock's just involvement with WWE because you know how he gets like hate on it because he's like, well, John Cena. John Cena hates him, right? Well, not yeah. anymore. Oh. They 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 oh, like yeah, squashed yeah. it. Yeah, they squashed it. it. It's because you remember that. They that, buried uh, the hatchet. Yeah, you remember mm -hmm. that one? Uh, I think it was during Wrestle. I don't know with WrestleMania, but uh, the Rock called him out because uh, yeah, I mean John, no, John Cena, Cena called him yeah because he, he had, had the, the he was his writing his things his, yeah, and that shit wasn't scripted, bro. Yeah. Like, he just said it. That's just wow. That shit is funny, but yeah. yeah, I think it's good for the business, bro. Because the Rock's the Rock. He's always gonna be the Rock. Yeah, bro. he's got he's got big uh, fan base, and he's he's a legend. Yeah. Like his whole family is just legends. Yeah. So wild. I, I don't hey, how watch. How many times a day does that Latin chick call in? The what? The you know the Latin chick. She's the the crazy Peter Piper Pizza oh. Parlor parking lot, bro. <laughs> I think that was the one. Yeah. Yeah, I don't know how she does it, bro. Mm -hmm. Like, yeah. I think it's because like her stories are just so crazy that we see them and we call, and then it just happens to be her because she's fucking crazy. Yeah, and we don't. I mean, we don't uh, memorize numbers. Yeah. And last episode, we actually had to edit a lot of stuff because she was literally incriminating herself. I wish you guys were able to see it. Like she told, yeah, I was like, bro, like first time we ever called her, she messaged me saying like, hey, can you take this off? And I'm like, bro, what the fuck? It's already live. Second time, it was crazy. Third time, she told me before. So I was like, okay, we can take this off. But this girl is crazy, bro. Like she loves 
that toxic shit. Stay away from those type of women. Definitely. <clears throat> uh, I don't know what episode it was, but there was the girl. She was talking about you called her and her brother. Mm. Shit. I don't know what episode it was. Or her sister. But it, hey, if you can put me in contact with that girl, she, <laughs> she sounded damn fine. Hey, bro, are there any toxic girls in Hawaii? <laughs> oh my god! You didn't Hell, yeah. Hell yeah! Hell <laughs> yeah! Hell <laughs> yeah! Big booty Dude, Hawaiians, Hawaii- I'm down. Girls from Hawaii are fucking toxic. I tell you that for a fact. Oof. You, they're toxic because they fuck with men from different. No parts of I mean parts oh. of the world. That's why they don't take the men locally no, 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 serious. No, 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 no. Great question. No, you, most of the girls who grow up here either don't have dad, dad is in jail, or dad and mom they go in between. Oh, I'm going there for sure. Mom oh, is crazy, shit. dad is crazy, then you grow up crazy. Sure. Damn, they got daddy issues. They got mommy yeah, issues. Yeah, they got daddy <laughs> issues, mommy they issues. They move their hips. What are you nice? dreaming right now? Like they be moving their hips nice. Fuck yeah, dog. Hey, bro, most of these girls just breathe. That's all it is. Are they superficial though? Because like how Rex said, because I know like, for example, girls in Vegas, right? Hard to date a girl in Vegas because there's so much, like there's just so much fluidity going on in that city. Like people from all over the world go to Vegas. So they, they don't really mess with the, the locals. They, they talking to people from Portugal. They talking to people from all over the place. Is that same thing with Hawaii? Like with Hawaii, like it's hard to date Hawaiian girls because they're like very superficial. Be like, oh, I only talk to. They're not. Like- Hawaiian girls aren't superficial. It's more where we've been influenced for a long time. So, but I can tell you for a fact, most Hawaiian girl is going to be dating white guys. Mm-hmm. No <laughs> Mexicans. Oh, How's the Mexicans out there? Is the Mexican population strong? Uh, I need some more Mexicans. <laughs> We might need more Mexicans because I ain't never seen one in a long time. Oh, really? Hell yeah. I'm going to go. Because <laughs> it's expensive to go out <laughs> there, bro. Low key. I'm like, going to start a soccer I'm, team. A flight. I'm going to tell you, Hawaiian girls are into white girls, white guys, black guys, fucking Filipinos. Yeah, yeah you lost. There. Most of the island is Filipino. I'm not joking on yeah. that one. Yeah. But Filipinos are close to Mexicans. We're yeah. Like, we're like yeah, brothers. Yeah. yeah, but they say we're not. They say themselves. Trust me. I forgot, I forgot about that one. Trust me. Damn. Damn. I would like to go to Hawaii, bro. <laughs> yeah, I want to we'll, go to Hawaii. We'll hit you up when we yeah, go. We'll hit you up. We'll hit you up. <clears throat> yeah, if anything, you guys come to Hawaii, I'll be a personal tour guide. Bro, please. Please. I'm going to save your we number. Might, we might die in the process. I'll just let you know. <laughs> I'm not that great of a driver. <laughs> what? Oh, <laughs> oh, okay. I thought I was... I fly, hey, oh. I fly it on the highway, so I don't know how you guys are going to enjoy that. <laughs> I'm, I'm going to tell you, hey, bro, can you take us to the food spot? And then so I was like, nah, take us to a, take us to a strip club. <laughs> take us to where the girl's at. <laughs> I want to try Dude, that. the strip clubs in here are so ghetto. Are you I sure? Bet. No, I just saved your number, actually. <laughs> <laughs> hey, yo, if you guys are ever in, in Hawaii, hit me up. I got you. Definitely. But thank you so much for sharing this, bro. It was a great, a great call. Great call. Thank you. Yeah, thank you guys. I never thought it, I'd get a phone call back. That's why we are here, bro. Stay away from the sharks. Um, <laughs> Stay away from the toxicas. The toxicas. The toxicas. And uh, hey, hey, hey. hell yeah, bro. <laughs> said, hey, hey, hey. <laughs> thank you so much for your time, bro. Appreciate you. Thank yeah, you. no problem. You guys too. Thank you. Right, bye. bye. Wait, how do you bye. say bye? Bye. Oh, in. How, how do you say bye in Hawaiian? Mahalo. 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 <laughs> <laughs> Hell yeah, sick ass dude. That was a sick ass car. I love, bro. I'm telling you, Hawaiians are so positive and they're so jolly. I love they're they're yeah. very friendly. Yeah, because a lot of people say they're they're friendly giants. Oh, friendly giants. Because they're big, bro. Yeah, yeah. They're big. Fucking, I want to hug them for that whole family. They be feasting. I know. It's that culture shit, you know. I want to, cause I love pokey. Sorry, poke. Okay. I like poke. Yeah, okay. but I want to. I know you don't like it, but me and so love that love, shit. Love I want to try it over there, bro. Like just fresh out the. They have the some ocean. spot in San Diego uh-huh. where supposedly they like all the stuff they get. It's like imported, for, imported from from Hawaii. Whoa! Oh shit! I'm it's down like fresh that. in San Diego. What's that? What's that red thing they put in poke? Salmon, salmon, or what? Tuna. The, oh, tuna. Tu- spicy oh, tuna. The spicy tuna. With the little with like, it's like the little ball. Oh, is that like um uh, the fucking una? Is it una? Is it una? No, I don't know what you're talking about. Probably what color calamari. is it? Is almost like calamari type shit? Yeah, kind of like that. 
And then why, yeah, I don't know. What don't color know. is it? Red? It's like red. I know what you're like talking little, about. Little red ball you put in the... I skipped that. I skipped oh, that. yeah. No, I don't, I don't do that. Yeah. Oh, so you, get, you put a lot of ginger in your... This, this, is my poke, this, is my, this is my poke order. All right. Uh, feel free to put me on. But I'd be getting the spicy tuna mm -hmm. with the salmon, mm -hmm. with the white rice, mm -hmm. with the green onion, okay. with the mango, with the una unagi or eel sauce, yep. with the uh, avocado. Mm. I corn? think that's it. Corn, corn, corn. Nah, not corn. Carrots. Okay. Carrots. I like, I like that. Yeah, yeah. What, what, what's oh, yours? That's, that's Mine's good. pretty much similar to yours. Yeah. Yeah. I so, like it. Yeah. Those are your meats. Yeah. So Rex don't like healthy shit. So. He <laughs> likes crazy. I feel like if they had a candy of poke, he really would eat that. It's like poke. Really? If, if they had like like uh, uh, gummy poke, he'll eat that. I don't know you. <laughs> the gummy. Oh gummy. Oh, oh, why do I laugh like that? <laughs> you want gummy, bro? I want a gummy. Put on your fucking beard. Oh look, this girl, bro. She just remember the the. Oh, are we we're gonna keep going. We got one more call. I know, but we're we gonna keep all that in. Yeah, okay. yeah. Um, remember how we called the boyfriend? Yeah. Well, the girl. I guess he told the girlfriend, and she put in a new form right now. Uh -huh. What the fuck? She works hard. She works. Yeah, fast. she working fast. But she said, "Call my boyfriend and talk shit to him. He hates your podcast, Rex. We love your kind, Hans. Please be safe out there on these dating apps. So I'll always pick bueno bueno." <laughs> What the fuck? She said you. Apps, <laughs> you be on dating apps? No. She got. She caught you on dating apps. That's what crazy. Are you on the date? Be honest. Right no. Why the fuck would I be? No. Hinge. Grinder. Facebook. Grinder. No. Facebook Finder. No. Farmers Meet. Why the fuck would farmers I be on meet? dating? Nah, for real, that's farmers. That's farmers meet. Yeah. Oh. I've been on a dating app since 2020. I can't. Cheese I can't do cheese spot. I can't do dating apps because people just screenshot it and they're like, "I saw you on." You know there. what's crazy? No, you know what's crazy? Mm. Damn, I should remember right now. Mm. Uh. 2021 2020 2021 when i was dating um yeah. i don't say her name but just, just say it. uh she told me one time she's like are you on a dating app and i was like what she's like you want a dating app because my friend screenshot it and sent it to me and i was like what the fuck like no i fuck i be dating i'm dating you and automatically what came to my head was like my brother <laughs> your brother <laughs> wait what? my brother used a picture of me Oh. <laughs> and he went on Bumble or Tinder. I don't know what dating app it was. And like, yeah, I was like, damn. Your brother's for sure catfishing. That, 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 oh yeah, probably. God. And I remember I told him at the time, so I'll delete it. But mm. I mean, if she said that, I'm my brother. My brother's still, probably, yeah, your brother's still running it. Shit, my brother's gonna still fucking get it. me in trouble and shit. Your brother probably has like five accounts, probably. different, different like. Remember my uh, my situation, my situation shit from last year. Uh -huh. The girl was crazy over. Um, she told me that. Three of her friends sent her screenshots of me on uh, on Tinder. Yeah, was it you or was it like fake account? It was probably me. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> What's that story? <laughs> but I was like, why, why motherfuckers no, sending weird. shit? You know, that's weird. Damn. Who, who's on dating now? Damn, you got you to move different, bro. Like, yeah, I guess. I'm, yeah. Like, we're not fucking Drake. We're not Bad Bunny. But, but, like, but doesn't Aaron and Caesar have one? Like Aaron, Aaron, yeah. I think Aaron, he does. And stop sending fucking, like, let me just, I'm not going to put no one on blast, but. God. I feel like motherfuckers need to stop sending dick pics for to what to like fans because mother like they be screenshotting shit and they be putting motherfuckers on blast. That's all I'm gonna say. <laughs> what? Why? Why? That's your homie right there. So why? Don't know That's talking, your boy. I don't know what he's talking. About. <laughs> That's all I'm gonna say. Sheesh. <laughs> boop, 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 boop. Fucking have a heart attack right now. <laughs> That's the T. That is and that's the, the fucking T, bitch. Oh my god. Hans, yeah, what the fuck? What what you drink today? <laughs> fuck that Red Bull. Is that Red Bull? They put something in god. that shit. Oh my god. Clip that chat. Clip that chat. Clip, that, clip, clip that. that chat. Hey, we need more people clipping shit. Yeah. Let's talk about it. We need people clipping shit. I want to get shit. in deep with that. What uh, the the dick pics? <laughs> Uh, here or Patreon? What should we do? What should Patreon. we do? On Patreon? We're talking about give me some gummies. I feel like oh, I deserve a gummy. I feel like Hans drinking <laughs> a prime right now. <laughs> should we do one more call? Those two calls were 20 minutes each. It was like 40 minutes. We're 40 minutes in. Should we do one it more? It was nice though. I'm not allowed Those to calls were great. Like, yeah. I wanted yeah, to keep going. Yeah, I could have kept talking. I, I, fuck, bro. To have a fan all the way from Hawaii. I was so invested in what he was yeah. saying. I wasn't even talking, bro. Yeah, I was I, just I, like... 
Damn. I was literally picturing everything. I was picturing the waterfalls. Yeah. You're making me look racist. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> I bitch. Was it was racist. No, was it wasn't. I feel like we can't be racist. It's like, it's, are you Samoan? It's I like, it's like, it's like, it's like a you like black a people can't. Well, they could, I guess, but black people, Mexicans, yeah. Hawaiians, Samoans. I, I don't, I don't there's think so many. Be racist, we can't so. be racist. No, we can't. No, definitely we can't be racist. We can't. But I think what I think Hawaiians, their culture is very like. They, Sac- sacred? This, it's very sacred. Like yeah. their land is very sacred to them. So like, I'm always I, a little bit more careful. I don't know. I don't know. Because there's, I mean, maybe me. I don't know. Because there's what? Samoans, Tongans, Tongan, and Hawaiians. You see, I didn't know that. Pacific know Islanders, that. right? Or I, I think that's, that's the same thing. Yeah, I think that's. Because yeah. I'm not sure. Bro. It's like when you say Asians and then there's more people in Asia. Oh, okay. So it's the, you see, I didn't, I, see, I didn't yeah, know. I don't know. I, didn't know fucking, I just found out that Samoans live in New Zealand. I did not know that. Yeah, they're yeah, out I'm, there. Yeah, I'm sure. That's when they do the chant. But that's that's the, that's the, the, the What is it? The the hak is it the haka? I don't know. Yeah. But that's the Samoan. That's the Samoans that do that, right? Right, right. Uh, so how so? <laughs> <laughs> is that racist? <laughs> is that racist? You know it. You know it. But I see that shit on TikTok. <laughs> <laughs> That shit's hard. Bro, that shit is. That shit is hard. Bro. Nah, that shit is sick. Bro. I seen the football players do it. I'm yeah. like, yo. Bro, that's imagine, true. imagine you're probably playing football and then your team, the whole other team, Samoan, and they come mm. out like that. That shit would be scary. <laughs> you bro. even see the white boys? <laughs> <laughs> you're like, what the, fuck? bro? Samoans are probably the best fucking football players out there. Ain't gonna hold you. You don't want to get. You don't want to fight a Samoan. Remember fuck, the Samoans man. from our high school? They're big as fuck. Cool as bro. fuck, guys. Yeah, yeah, but they were cool as fuck. Cool as fuck. That fool pull up with a little uh, ukulele. Ukulele and then do, 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 do. like. What was like, his name? Uh, what was his name? There was one. There was one Samoan in particular. That he was like some big fool. I think he had like a rat tail. I think we're talking about the same. Yeah, yeah like curly I, hair. Yeah, yeah. That fool was cool as fuck. What was his name? Bro, we'll be in class and he just bring the vibes with the ukulele. Oh, wow. Yeah. He, he also played the sponge on. That's badass. The ukulele sponge on? Yeah. <laughs> Shout out to all the Hawaiians, best, Samoans, Tongans. Best football player from our school, too. His brothers, too. I bet. Yeah, all those dudes get drafted off the rip. Oh, yeah. <laughs> that's true, and that's what I was, and that's, that's what I was saying. When he gets like, that's racist. I was like, no, nah, I feel like that's in nah, his blood. That's a pro, right there. I guess, yeah, I guess they're 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 big by nature. Yeah, but it's, it's funny a, though. It's like saying every beaner gets drafted to Chivas. <laughs> yeah, I mean, if we, think about it like this: every when you're if you're born Mexican, yeah, you're either gonna number one play soccer, box, construction. Well, I'm talking about in Mexico, oh, okay. like as a sport, yeah. like as a tradition. You're either gonna like. Box, play soccer, or be a fucking like a singer, fool, like mariachi mm. or some shit, corrido or something, or sicario or narco. Yeah, but that's different. That's not a that's not a fucking sport. I'm talking <laughs> no, about okay, sport. narco. I'm not bad. <laughs> um, you know what's the 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 national sport of Mexico? What soccer, right? No, no it's not soccer actually. Charreras, yeah. guys. Charreras. What's that? Like that? Um, charros, like people who uh wrangle up the horses, horses, cows, and oh, cows right, all that yeah. stuff. Drum. That's just sick. Yeah, like just I seen so many videos where, like, you know, when the lasso starts going fast, they cut their fucking fingers off. Yeah, I met I met a dude who only had four fingers because of that. Oh. he lost his pinky or his, his thumb. His thumb. Dance. He was like high five, and he only had four fingers. <laughs> I got so scared. No, that's get. I got that's scared. Alien. Yeah, he was a clown. He was like a clown, like the the rodeo clowns. Mm. He was like chocala, and I was like. <laughs> 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 That's funny. You're so right because you do really meet a Mexican without a finger sometimes. Yeah. <laughs> with the pinky. That, a yeah. little finger. You're always going to meet a Mexican yeah. with a... My tax lady's husband um, is missing a finger. <laughs> it's deep. What's up with these food? Everybody, you know you're Mexican if you have someone in your family without a finger. <laughs> without a finger. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. That, uh, That's wild. <laughs> or half a half a finger. Yeah, half a you finger. Know, like a little, oh, yeah. They're able, yeah. They, they are able to recover their finger. They put it in their mouth. Make sure... Yeah, bro, it's just crazy. Yeah. My, I'll cry, bro. If I lost a, a, a little uh, pinky. Would you rather lose a pinky or a thumb? A pinky. Actually, I heard if you lose a finger, I don't know if you lose one of your fingers or toes, you lose balance. Like, you have to learn how to get your balance. I I'd rather back. lose a pinky. But don't no, you I think, need I your think, pinky? No, I think the pinky is like the most important. I think that yeah, was the right. balance one. You can grab shit like that. No, but I think it has to do with balance. But what's up with the thumb? Like, okay, if you lose a thumb... I rather I rather pinky because then I, like I might put my my thumb in a in a, in a butt or something, you know. <laughs> well, actually, let me search. You still up. need that thumber. I don't know. I just uh, feel like if um, you 
If you lose your pinky, you lose 50% of your hand strength. What the fuck? Isn't that yeah, weird? Yeah, I knew pinkies weird. were very important. All right, now search thumb. What, happens what do you, you lose from? Oh, well, that's that you true. just can't grip shit. That's true, because go like this. Like people who Oh, box, it comes from like right here. Yeah. Huh? You feel it right here. Because this is true. Your thumb, you don't need that. Like, you tuck it in. Mm, yeah, all the power is like yeah, on this side. You can't grab dick Because when you punch, <laughs> what the fuck? when you punch, you're supposed to punch with these three knuckles. I don't you're know right, do that. Right. You know, with the thumb, you grab that dick. Just, just grip it like this. I just grip it. All right, last call, last call. Let's get the last call. Okay. Let's see if they answer. <clears throat> <laughs> that shit was like, let's talk about pinkies. <laughs> <laughs> oh, this is a 909. Hello? Bueno, bueno. Bueno, bueno. Bueno, bueno. Why are you doing giggly pants? Why'd you giggle like that? What's up, giggly pants? Giggly monster. You little giggle monster. Giggly bay. Oh my goodness. I'm excited to hear you guys. What's up? Nothing much. Just chilling. Did you go to church today? Huh? Did you go to church today? I don't go to church. Eres una diabla. I don't know why you guys have a podcast. You guys should have a band. Right, we just serenaded you. That's wild. <laughs> um, do you have time to talk to us right now? Um. Okay. Yeah. If you don't want to, it's cool. Like, yeah, that's it's cool, fine. Like, it's cool. Yeah, whatever. Yeah, it's it's cool. not like we like, whatever. <laughs> no. Yeah. Let's do it. Let's do it. <laughs> uh, you said, "Does he still love me?" Oh. Mm. We have been together for six years. He knows I like him planning cute little dates for us, giving giving him giving me flowers, etc. He only plans dates when I ask him to. He doesn't initiate sex because he says that he wants me to initiate it. I asked him why it's so hard for him to do these things for me. If I'm down to get some flowers from the park, um, if money is tight, a cute day could be a picnic. He says it's hard because he's tired. I told him maybe he doesn't do those things for me because I'm just not the one for him anymore. He just says, I want this to work and I'm trying, but he only tries after we have these convos for like two weeks and then back to usual. Ooh, okay, okay. Okay, uh, mm. what does he do for work? Let's start there. Mm. Um, I can't say. Mm, he's a government worker. Yeah, mm. no, he's not, but mm. he's he listens to his podcast and friends do too. <laughs> oh, shit. Do we have to, uh, shit, do we have to change your voice? Yeah, probably. All right, change your voice, change your voice. Change of voice. <clears throat> okay. Right, voice um, initiated. In voice change initiated. Let, fuck. Uh, <laughs> this, is, this is a tough one. I want to say six years is a long time. And people mm-hmm. do fall out of love within that, yeah, yeah, period, that period of time, yeah. right? But I don't know. Maybe. I don't know. Like, I need to hear your side, too. Like, I, need to hear, I need to hear his side. What are you bringing to the table, yeah. sis? What are you doing? <laughs> <laughs> you guys live together? Okay. Give us, give us hold on, hold on, hold on. Do you, yeah, we do. do you guys live together? Okay, okay. Yeah. Mm. Okay. Mm-hmm. Does he kiss you randomly? No, we need more content. Nah, I don't know. This is hard. I can't pick at it because it's like, because let's say he plans stuff and then she can't and then he gets discouraged. Like, fuck, well, every time I ask you, you say no. So, mm-hmm. like, Are you a busy person? Yeah. Um, no, we actually, we're literally, okay, so when we started dating, we're actually, like, best friends, we like to do everything together and stuff like that, um, but, um, recently, it's been, like, weird lately, but I know he's been working more, he has more responsibilities at work, and I guess it could be stressful, I feel like I'm a pretty understanding person, Mm -hmm. um, and when he plans something, I actually get excited for it, but Mm -hmm. it's very rare and not very usual for him to do that, and it's usually me. Have you asked him how he's doing? Mm. Yeah, yeah, I'm so into like, hey, how are you, and all that, he's like, he's always good, he's actually a person that's always like in a good mood, super cheerful. That's how they get you. Does he pay all the bills in the house, or do you guys split? Uh, we rec- recently, just recently, he's the one that told me like, hey, don't worry about it. Just pay for your car and your insurance mm. and we're all good. But he initiated that. I never asked yeah. for it. And what? then I'm, I've always been the one like still half and half. And I was yeah. like, all right, cool, cool. Okay. Do you know yeah. his love language? 
<laughs> Come on, sis. Six years. I, six years, sis. Come I on. think. No, hold on, hold on. <laughs> he loves watching movies and just staying in. But I guess that's where it's a little hard because I'm more like of an outdoorsy person, hikes, um, adventures, and he's more like I just want to stay home and watch movies and eat. <laughs> I don't think I don't think it's how you think that he lost love in you. I just think it's like, hey, like I mean, we've been together for six years. I think his mm-hmm. way of seeing it is like. I don't. I know this is bad, and I'm not saying it's a good thing for everyone watching. Like, I feel like most men, after being with someone for so long, they're like, "Well, I don't have to try anymore. Like, I'm already with her. Like, I love her, so why do I have to mm-hmm. try?" And that's a very mm-hmm. bad thing. But I think in his case, I feel like he is stressing a little bit about money, even though he told you, "Hey, I got it. Just worry about that." I feel like every yeah. man, and I'm speaking for myself too. Like, I like to say, "Like, oh, I got it. I got it." But inside, I'm fucking struggling, yeah. and I'm like fighting demons. So. Yeah, I think I don't really I don't think he stopped loving you. I think he still loves you. But I think he's mm-hmm. he is fighting demons inside and he doesn't know how else to tell you and he doesn't obviously wanna do certain things because he probably doesn't have enough funds or he's just not mm-hmm. not that he doesn't have enough funds, but you know what I mean? He's made he's making letting me I don't know, I don't know how to explain it, but mm-hmm. like maybe he's just too stressed that he can't think of something yeah. to do with me kind of thing. Yeah. So you just said okay. you, you said he just got into a new position at work? Yeah, like he just started having like more duties at work. How like long his ago? position is like up. How long? Ago? Um it's been for about like a year now. Yeah. Uh, you said for about a year? Yeah. What yeah. does what does he like to do other than staying home? What do you like to do oh. outside? <laughs> that's he's a homebody that's the thing so but, he don't he don't like going out yeah. like for nothing like playing sports or no mm. Mm-mm, no one thing what though one thing let's bring up that we didn't really touch on he does initiate sex oh okay that, yeah. that's a good one that's something we gotta yeah. touch on hmm. because as a man i forgot about that one. Yeah, yeah as a man right like what you want you know it's kind of what like not let's what, be real yeah yes. yeah like you you want some some a little you know some little of that <laughs> you get me how many times because like i never have to i've never in my life i've also i've never had a girlfriend mind you but i've never <laughs> i've never been like hey why don't you initiate this you know but let, let's be honest let's i, I can't and, and relationships and relationships marriages is never the guy it's not whenever the guy wants to have sex it's, it's when the girl, the girl wants to have sex yeah, it's, it's always been like that and it's always gonna be like that mm-hmm. so um for the fact, whenever you ask him, he, he says no? Or he's like, oh, I'm tired? Or what does he say? Yeah, like, a lot of times, like, hey, like, I'm tired. So, so how, I mean, I can get that if it's, he's tired because of work. Yeah, so that's, it's normal. I mean, but, it's normal, so, like... No, like, no but hold on, hold on. A lot of females don't, don't understand you cannot get every, everything. You cannot always get everything from your man. Okay, but how often if do you guys have sex? If he works a lot, he's gonna fuck you less. And if he doesn't work, he's gonna fuck you a lot. Ah, so, that's I true. blame the man coming home Facts. tired. All he wants is a massage, Facts. some food. That's true, some that's hand, true. Some hand, maybe. A little rub and tubby. A little rubby tubby. And then that's it. A little, <laughs> but, little wacky. Yeah, that's true. But, okay, now answer this. How 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 often do you guys have sex? Um, Recently, I feel like it's been last, like, every four days. But I'm like... Wait, I what? Get the, come on, come on. Come on. I thought you were gonna say like over a year. Yeah, <laughs> wrap it up, wrap it up. Let's go. let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go. Yeah, he loves you. What the fuck? You're, what? He loves you. <laughs> Every four days. I thought we've had we've had calls. We've had people tell us like, oh, it's been over a year. No mama. He doesn't love you, but it's been over a year. A year? He's cheating on you, right? But for every four days, I think your needs are high. Is your is your sex drive crazy, huh? You want it like yeah. every fucking night? Oh, yeah. <laughs> she counts them days. She was like, oh, the fourth okay. day's coming up. Well, I wonder he's tired. <laughs> Come on, give me that Oh man. And this is funny. This is crazy because now flip the flip the story, right? Flip the scripts. Oh. If, 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 if you wanted sex from your girl, but your girl didn't want to, and you'd be like, what the fuck? Like, you have to be okay with it. You can't ask because you ask, you're a weirdo. Mm. Oh. You're a fucking pervert. You're a pervert. <laughs> Get the fuck away from me, pervert. Like, <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, so uh, I, I think, girl, I think you tripping. I'm sorry. I, I think like, you, I, you're yeah. Loving it right now. Like, yeah. like you got you're getting your bills paid. He, yeah, you got a hard working man. He's getting your dick every four days. Uh, he girl. doesn't love me. What? He <laughs> uh, I get it though. I get, but also your 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 feelings are valid, bro, right? But maybe, what else does she want? Maybe, she has everything. Maybe all she wants is like a hey, you're doing a good job. 
Maybe all she wants is some little affection. Look, does he spank your ass every time he passes by you? No. Oh shit, he doesn't love me. Fuck. <laughs> Huh? Huh? <laughs> no, no, that, that's not, let me cook. Let me cook. cook it right. I always do that to my girl, and I feel like a lot of couples have done that too. You know, it's, I, it's something. It's a couple thing when yeah, you live together. Yeah. Whenever I'm dating, it's to kind of make sure, like, as, yeah, like yeah. go sport. You know, like I love you, babe. Blah. Yeah, but you. But can't. when you stop spanking your ass, that's when you're kind of like, Why you kind of don't you? fuck with it a little bit. You kind of. Yeah, like, but uh, maybe, maybe like he would do it, and like she's probably getting because there's some girls that get annoyed. Like, what the fuck, stop. Yeah, mm. but they love it still. I got a question. I got a question. Nah. Mm-hmm. After you guys have sex, does he like turn around the other way and he goes to sleep? Mm. No, no. He loves you. What the fuck? Like, is he an iPad kid? Is he a cuddler? Like, does he cuddle you with you guys? After? Like, you guys cuddle? Yeah. After? Then you're yeah. good. Like, he is he? Does I'm he good. like watch? Does he get on mm-hmm. his phone and watch YouTube videos when he's eating? Um. <laughs> That's a good question. He does sometimes. He does, but when I, he's with me, no. Mm. Mm, okay. Fuck. Well, you see. All right. Now nah, he does love you. He doesn't watch any sports. Like, no. Um, does he play video games? Yeah, he plays video games. And what kind of video games? Like, like FIFA or Call of Duty? Call of Duty. Mm, mm. He's one of those. Oh, those, those are toxic. Those, those are toxic. Those are no, toxic. no, no, no. I think FIFA is more toxic, but Call of so? Duty is more like <laughs> I'm just playing just because I had a stressful day. Ah, uh, mm. you get me. Uh, FIFA is more like I gotta love it. Yeah, yeah, because FIFA stresses you out more. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Um, nah, he's loyal. That's true. Yeah, I think you know, he's loyal, sis. I think you're just. <laughs> I'm tripping. You're yeah, tripping. Yeah. Tri- oh, yeah. what, what's your uh, what's your sign? <laughs> <laughs> what's your sign? I'm a Taurus. Taurus. Ooh, what you know about Taurus? Taurus Caesar's a Taurus. So I'm trying to figure out. No, but a female Taurus, like. It's different, no? Huh? I don't know. <laughs> I think we're loyal, but you think? I don't know. I guess loyal? I was just overthinking. Wait, hold on, hold on. Why hold do you on. think let's, you're loyal? Let's, let's flip let's the table. It. Let's talk about it. <laughs> I'm loyal. Hell yeah, I'm loyal. <laughs> Have you looked at any other men lately? No. Mm. No. How loyal are you? I oh. Have, I only have eyes for one guy, and that's him. <laughs> I have a question. Do you have homegirls? Oh. Yeah. Are they this? getting in your head? Ooh. 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 For sure. For that. sure they are. Yo, I like that. Boom, boom, boom. Good. 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 I hope he's watching. Be this. The homegirls, listen. Yes. The homegirls will ruin relationships. Yep, that's what it is. That's you gotta be oh, careful. And the homies. The homies. <laughs> and the fucking homies. Outside people the will up, ruin man. the relationship because oh, for sure. really? they don't see it. They don't see everything going on. And this is the thing: when you complain to your friends about your relationship, you're only mm-hmm. tell. Whenever you talk to your friends, you're only telling them the bad things. Mm, That's never true. the good it's thing because they don't want to hear it. That's yeah, true. it's never the Woo! good thing. So the the homies or the homegirls, they just start building a story in their head. And they're like, no, nah, no, nah, bro. And like, no, nah, like he's yep. not doing this. That's crazy. It's probably this, right? So they might be getting in your head. Look, let me tell you, and I'm speaking mm. from experience. I'm. It's better to leave the outside opinions outside. Yeah. If you want someone's opinion, then call ask. bueno, bueno, call bueno, bueno. But I would say <laughs> it's it's very bad <laughs> too. So I would just say just keep your relationship with you and your partner. Yeah, yeah. And that's it. Okay, what? I guess I'm dropping some people. Do this. Ooh, <laughs> start so doing it this. Is home girl. It's the homegirls. Yeah. Start doing this. Whenever you do talk about your man, start. This is for anybody listening. If you think you're, you're, this is a social experiment. If you think your relationship isn't working out and you got homegirls, start telling your homegirls all the nice things that your man is doing. And watch the whole energy just shift. Yeah. Be watch you being Ca- a happier um, relationship. Caller be like, be like, hey, bitch. My man just bought me a, a a jewelry. Like it's really good. Oh my god, he spent a lot of money. And she's yeah. like, okay, instead of how com- much? Why? No, I don't know. Well, it was like a like three thousand dollars, but it was good. Like, He's probably cheating on you, bitch. He feels fuck. bad. Like, he feels yeah. bad. Oh, ah. that's it. that's how you know your homegirls toxic. <laughs> Ooh. Uh, I, it might be the homegirls. They probably got in your head. Mm-hmm. For sure. They're mad <laughs> because your man is taking care of you. Ooh. Ooh. <laughs> 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 Cooked. They're jealous. They want someone to pay their rent. So, hey, is that really your homegirl? She's trying to get your man. Oh, oh fuck. <laughs> Does she come over your house? No. Mm, yeah, keep them bitches away. No. <laughs> <laughs> Lele, I got it in her head. Yeah, nice. you, that was a good one. Yeah. This was a great one. We solved this one. 
Hey. Okay, another mystery nice solved. One, nice okay. mystery. Another mystery solved. Another handshake. <laughs> another mystery solved. <laughs> Love you guys. Thank you so much for your advice. Love you guys. Love you too. Call us whenever. Yeah. You know, I mean, we'll answer whenever. Is your man home right now? Yeah, you guys want to talk to him? Yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. You better, you better, you better put it down after this call. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> well, he, right, does he know about us? Does he know? Well, like, yeah, what we she do? said yeah. Yeah, he listens. Oh, right, perfect, perfect. So, so we he, don't. Okay. We don't have to change your voice now because he's gonna know. Oh. We still, we still, we're 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 Mm-hmm. In the mm-hmm. meantime, we're toxic. Too. In the meantime, if you guys need any uh, DJ services, hit up a right. No, he said he doesn't want to talk to you. Oh, oh, we're about to compliment him so bro, hard right gonna, now. We're, we're going to glaze him up. Glaze, yeah. It's cool. If you're watching, bro, hey, hey we just saved your relationship. We just, sa- we just hey. saved you. Yeah, no, bro, Zell me. Zell me. You know, actually, nah, he's cheating on you, sis. Yeah, yeah. yeah. He's cheating yep. on you. Definitely. <laughs> <laughs> Nah, but yeah, I think I think uh, we got this case solved. I think caso uh, cerrado, caso cerrado. Doom, doom. <laughs> All right, well, thank you so much for your time. We appreciate you. Any other things? Uh, make sure to leave them in the forum. We want to keep the uh, keep us updated on the homegirls. All right, and if they're too. toxic, day, send them my way. Hey. Uh. <laughs> Como te gustan, huh? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. All, right, then. All right, guys. Okay. Bye. Uh, okay. What was the Hawaiian what? word? Uh, oh, fuck. Mahalo. 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 <laughs> Bye. 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 Okay. Her that man's was a, a cook, supporter. Bro. He did not want to get on the phone. Yeah, that was loud. That was Come a five star chef cook right there. We cooked on that one. Oh my fuck! I hate those headphones. I know those are tied to God. Bro, we literally yeah, found she, the answers to yeah, her question. We and she stayed quiet. Yeah. See, that's why I, I was like, we're like examining. I was like, okay, but does he do this, this, yeah. this, this, this? Okay. We got all the right pieces together. Oh, but why are the homegirls hating? The homegirls always. Oh, hate they always them. hate. I'm gonna tell you, the homies homegirls, too. Every homegirl has ruined. Just all the, the homegirls would be ruining shit. Be careful I, with that. For real? For real, bro? Whoa, 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 whoa. That's y'all. That's y'all. That's right. He said homegirls. Hey, I was like, yeah, so do homies. Damn. What? 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 It's good we fuck around the, too much. Why bro. the homies turn off their location? No, it's good we fuck around too much. This is the thing. Yeah. <laughs> are, we, are we talking? <laughs> are we Are we going? No, but the difference between girls is that they're being serious. Yeah, 100%. The girls are being serious. The homies are more like... Just fuck We're just around. getting in the head. Like, yeah. ah, you bought her ice cream? You like, ah. Like you, you did a run video with her. Like, yeah. Ah, you like, For me, I just want, I just want the homie to say like, yeah, bro, I love her. So what? It's like that's all I wanted to hear. That's She's all very I wanted gorgeous to, hear. to me. <laughs> She's yeah, very beautiful to me. <laughs> that's all I wanted to hear. Yeah. I, I like, I like teasing people when they're like, I don't know, like, just take okay, say it. Okay, but would you rather front. prefer that? Or me telling you like, nah, bro, your girl's not the one for you, bro. Like, nah, nah, fuck that, nah, See, bro. Like, neither. And I'm, I'm being serious. Neither. How do you tell the homie that the girl's not the one? And do you have a place? Do you have place? No. To say that if you gotta let him go through his thing. You think they gotta? Yeah. But what if the homie don't want to learn? Because well, I mean, only the person in the in that relationship really knows. Because at the end of the day. We do complain all the negatives. We uh, never say all the positives. Yeah. So we already the homies already have a disadvantage because they don't know everything. So um, I don't. know. It's, it's tough, man. But what if the homie drops you because you're right and he doesn't want to accept the truth? If the homie drops you, for you being drop right? you. If anything, they'll be they'll forgive. Usually, no, they it, drop it's you. Usually like that. Like, it's usually like, they drop you because you're saying bad things about the relationship, yeah. and then they break up and like, hey, you but, know what, bro, but, okay, you're right. Okay, but how would you feel if you were honest with your friend? And he okay. He went through his whole stage of him learning, and you know he he you know he went through the stage of like whatever. He oh, learned. I get what you're saying. And he tells you, "Damn, bro, why the fuck you weren't there for me? Why didn't you tell me? Why didn't you save me? Or or told me like, bro, this and that. Like you could have helped me." They're now they're just victim. They're like they're victimizing themselves. They're looking for someone to blame, except for themselves. Mm-hmm. So they need a scapegoat, and you don't want those people. So it's good that they cut you off because. They just does does the work for you, you know, because uh, yeah, you don't you don't want victimizers, victimizers. Yeah, because I've been in certain situations where like it's just gone bad, yeah. and you see it from afar, and you give them the heads up, like, hey, bro, that's just not cool, mm-hmm. and they're just more on some like, 
I don't give a fuck. But after they gone through the shit, they just look at you like, come on, fool, what the fuck? Like, you should have told me something. Yeah. And I'm like, bitch, what was I doing? Yeah. So it's a fine line of like respect, boundaries, but it's also like, bro, it's, you know, it's, mm-hmm. what, is, what, is, what do they say? When it's, uh, fool me once, shame on, for, shame for on you. you. Fool me once, shame on you. Fool me twice. Shame, shame on, on me. me. Yeah. Fool me three times, fuck the peace sign, load the chop and let it rain on you. <laughs> How many times you seen that shit in the mirror? What? That lyric. <laughs> How many times I say it in the mirror? Yeah. I don't say it many times. Now that's why I learned my lesson. I don't I I just keep my shit to myself. Yeah, it's the best way to do. I with everything, not just like relationships. I yeah. think my family situations. Yeah. I keep it to myself. I I mean I know that sounds fucked up to say because it's like But you it's but I just why would I put my, my stress goodness. on someone else? Exactly. And like, you know what I've noticed too? Whenever you start, whenever you start talking to someone, well, for me, let's say I start talking to someone, and it's going great, and then I tell people about it. After that, everything goes to shit. Have you, has I ever noticed you guys? Wait, wait, say that again. Sorry. Like, let's say you're talking to someone, right? Okay. And then you're keeping your kind of hidden, and then you finally start telling people like, "Hey, yeah, I'm talking to this girl." And then after that, everything just goes downhill. Mm. Have you ever noticed that? Yeah, I've noticed that every time I'm like talking to a girl and I bring her. It's usually whenever, like, I tell someone, I'm like, hey, yeah, I'm talking to this girl. And then after that, pfft, goes to shit. It's like that with, with I think, with, start with everything. Like, I feel like when you start talking about, oh, yeah, I'll, I might get this new job or I might get this new thing. Yeah. I feel like once you talk about it, it starts, like, people start, like, preying on your downfall. Yeah, like, nah, like, start I hating. Follow? Yeah, yeah. So I feel like I, I, mm-hmm. I used to do that a lot. I used to be like, oh, yeah, I'm about to do this. And people are like, oh, okay, bro. Like, Ugh. yeah. So now I just keep to I just keep everything quiet. Yeah, when keep it everything happens, quiet. That's when it's when... happening, but like, oh yeah, bro, this is happening. Mm-hmm. Nah. That's another thing people gotta be careful of. Be careful who you share your ideas with, because mm. trust me, I've given the same idea to two different people, and two different reactions. You can ask, you can tell one person like, oh, like you're super excited. Oh, I have this idea. We should do this, this, and that. And they're like, nah, bro, what the heck, you really think that's gonna work? And then you get discouraged and like, damn, maybe they're right. But then you say the exact same idea to someone else. Be like, hey, bro, I got this and this and that. And they're like, bro, that's a good idea. Let's do it. And then you do it. So also, you got to be very careful who you tell your ideas to. If you notice you tell ideas to one person and they're always being negative, just stop telling those ideas to that person. Because maybe it's a really good idea because it's just because it's out of their comfort zone doesn't mean it should be out of your comfort zone, you know? So yeah, have, have good people in your corner. I think some ideas are cool with certain people because they can help you out. Yeah. You know, so and then, there's always a, like I said, fine line of everything. Yeah. Because you could be like, oh, I want to do this. Oh, bro, I got a homie that does it. Exactly. They can help you out. Yeah. Or you could get like, uh, so whatever. Like, you want to do that? All right, cool. Yeah. 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 Good, good luck, bro. The worst part is yeah. like discouraging people. Like, never discourage people. Like, yeah, even if it is a bad idea, like, don't fucking just let them let go them through the process. Yeah. Best thing in life is learning from your mistakes. Yeah, I think I th- I'm a strong believer in that. Yeah, that's why I date toxic women because I want to learn more. I love learning. You open up to to your barber more than your friends. Uh, because I seen posts that said I my barber is my, my therapist. therapist. <laughs> they are therapists. Um, but not too much. No, nah, I have not really. Think about the stories that the barbers know about their clients. All oh, the cheaters. Yeah. Are the cheaters they're cutting up? They're cutting up some food, and he's telling like, "Yeah, just fuck some some guy's bitch." And this and that. How many and times do you? think... He has that guy at three o'clock appointment, bro. How many times Ooh. do you think like a food's been cutting his hair, and he has a girl, but then another girl pulls up with him? Mm, I've seen. That. Yeah, Ooh. I've heard of that. I've heard of that. Uh, how many things? How many times do you think that's happened? We got to get a barber on the show. I bet they know. I'm Torres, that food or barber, that food's shy. He'll be. Uh, he's shy. Tell him. I think barbers have a lot of information. They have a they have good juicy stuff. They got everything, bro. Yeah. Barbers, barbers know the community. What about the nail tech and lash girls? Those you gotta be careful with. Why they're what? toxic? Because no, they're the same thing, bro. They're. I feel like a nail techs and a nail tech and what are lash extensions, yeah. whatever. La- 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 I feel like lash yeah, extensions. I feel like they're in the same. They're like the barb, the male barb, the female yeah, barb. Yeah, female barbers. Because think about it, they have girl clients come up and they're fucking doing cheese, man. Huh, that girl. Man. So my boyfriend last week, like, he took me to his uh to my oh. swagras house, but she was talking shit. And I fucking hate going there. And then on fucking Instagram, they're all lovey dovey and shit. I fucking love you, baby, and your family. I'm so grateful for you guys. <laughs> 
It's like, damn, bitch. Oh. Like, which whoa, whoa, whoa. It was, damn, bitch. My my new boo is gonna pay for this. Yeah. He's like, oh, what's your boo's name? And then she he's, she says it. He's like, and the, the nail tech's like, wait, hold up. I, That's this fool's boyfriend. Yeah, I like, think uh, my That's friend. This girl's boyfriend. I wish we uh, I wish we'd have brought that up with Aliani because she's a nail tech and she's telling me all these crazy stories about just like I think that where it's like. Two girls are fucking with the same man, but they don't know. But she knows because she's both of their she she does both of their nails. So the shit like that, bro. Just it's, it's scary out here. Like how loyal are you, Nelta? You can't. You got to be loyal to both customers. Exactly. Because mm. you don't. At the end of the day, they, their clients are giving yeah, you money. You lose your bag if you snitch one out. Yeah, you don't want to lose that bag. The you one can't. that tips you more. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, shit's shit's wild. That's yeah. That's that's funny. Yeah, barbers are like. Yeah, they're they're like the the lock. They're like the lock safe, where like they put all your things. Like they have like think of they have like a bunch of files, yeah. and they're like going through all theirs. Like okay, today we're talking to today we're talking to Hans, and then you know we we put the file back in there. It's safe. Oh, so now we're talking to someone. Oh, here's your file. But like they never the files never never get in other <laughs> so files. So they're like they're like therapists who signed you can't legally say anything unless yeah, yeah. they it's the unwritten rule. But you <laughs> but therapists could huh cuz I've seen cases where like if like a client I don't know confesses that he murdered someone like they have to bring a report in. Yeah, no? I think it. there's that suicidal too. Yeah, I think yeah. What about priests? Can can priests? I don't think priests they don't like if you tell a priest I killed someone. I think priests would just tell you to pray. Yeah, like I could seven hell like, marys. Yeah, hey, like I killed someone. How many hell marys? Seven hell marys. I don't know. More like a hundred <laughs> hell marys, and you're forgiven. All right, like you're, you're, you're um, let's pretend like we're priests, right? Me and Hans are priests. Right. And we're in the what is oh, it the called? confession room. The confession Want me to confess room, right? my sins? Yeah, and yeah. but say it in Spanish like a compa. Like you just okay. Let's say you had a wild night. Think at seven in the morning. Let's play it out. Let's act and score it. All right, improv. Let's say you just got out of a strip club, drunk as fuck. You lost probably like. Your house, you lost a lot of money because you bet on it. But you're also with the cariñosas all uh-huh. night. Yeah, yeah. And you come to confess seven in the morning drunk. Go, Hans. You want to be the padre? Yeah, what's my role? Like, what am I? My you're, uh, you're the padre. You're the padre. Mexican but there's pa- a, I'm, there's a, there's a screen in the middle. Like uh, Mexican padre. Perfect. Mexican padre. Mexican padre. Yeah. Okay. You're like wholesome. You got a family. You're doing good. Oh, yeah. well, padres don't have a family, huh? No. No, huh? They don't be having sex. Oh, no. damn. Okay, yeah, you're a virgin. Father, you're holy. I but just, that's but you've been knowing Saul for like the past 20 years cause since he was a little kid. And I just came out of the strip club. So yeah. A lot of my yeah. money. Yeah, go. Okay. Action. <coughs> Buenos dias, Padre. Dios te bendiga, mijo. ¿Cómo estás? No, pues no tan bien. Es que hice, hice algo que no tenía que hacer. Um, tenía todo ese dinero para el cumpleaños de mi hijo. Iba a tener dos años. Y no sé qué pasó, fui con mis amigos y um, fuimos al, al, strip, al strip club y vean un, unas diablas que me, el tenta, ¿cómo se dice? Tentación, no, no estaba, yo no, no estaba fuerte, padre, me, um, uno se sentó en mí y perdí, per, perdí la luz de Dios y no sé qué pasó, ya todo se, todo se hizo negro y la noche se terminó y ya no, y ahora ya no tengo dinero y Ando perdiendo la casa y mis hijos ya no me quieren. Y nada más quiero que Dios me perdona de todo, todo lo que quiero. <risa> no sé. Güey, ¿qué, qué, qué Dios? ¿Qué, qué, qué tiene para mí? Mira, amigo, vamos a orar en este instante, ¿ok? Sí, sí, padre. Dime. A veces hacemos cosas en la vida que al rato nos... Nos o sea, equivocamos y, uh-huh. y, y pasan las cosas, mijo, ¿ok? Amen, amen. Pero en este instante, tu, tu vida va a cambiar uh-huh. si aceptas Dios en tu vida, ¿ok? Vamos a orar, amigos. Cierra los ojos, por favor. Sí. Ando a mi, ahorita ando imaginando, uh, ¿cómo se llamaba? Uh, el Bunny, se llamaba Bunny. Tiene una nalgota así en grande. Y, <risa> es, era una diabla. You're going to hell. You're going, You're going to, hell. to hell. I'm here to get forgiven. Like, forgive me, Father. I was, I was, I was waiting for his pray. Uh, but you're like... I started thinking of her. <laughs> I closed my eyes and I was thinking about it. That's the only thing that... I, I need help. I need help. You said La Lola. La Lola. La Lola. La Boonie. La Lola. La Lola. I feel oh. like... La Estrella. 
Fuck. Damn. <laughs> I think How the many pre- times do you think like pr- like pilot is really hear shit? Like the pilot is going crazy through it, like, stuff. Fuck. Like damn, I bet they can write. Like, you bugs. did what? You did like, what? 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 Como? You brought her into your house? It's like the costas is con la. What is it? Con la, con la suegra? Con, con la vecina? Con la vecina? I heard some crazy cheating stories. We haven't gotten the collars of that anymore because I'm fucking tired of that shit. We don't need that negative energy. Yeah, take that shit over there. Yeah, I knew this. I knew these. Uh, I knew a mutual friend who told me. Um, they worked with a sports team. They worked with. They worked in the sports industry, mm-hmm. and they were running like they did a lot of promotions for their social media. And she said, so they will all get this. Like all these teams will get in the same hotel, right? And uh, whenever they travel, they'll bring like their family with them. And he's, she said that there was this one player in particular that basically, well, her friend loved take like loved men who had wives. That was her thing. Like she loved. Oh. That's what she drived on. What do right? you call that? A whore. A whore. Yeah. <laughs> I was gonna say home wrecker. A whore. Whore. <laughs> right. Yeah. That's yeah. True. So um, she said that her and this one baseball guy, they were. Uh, they were like sneaky links. And she he had a whole ass family. And yeah. in this one hotel they got, literally, it was like the family in this room. And across, like literally, just you know, when you go in a hotel, there's you go out the room and there's another room in front of you. Mm. The room in front of them was the mistress. So at night, Damn. he would like sneak out that room and then go into that room. Like she would leave the door unlocked, then she he would do that. Then he'll come back to go sleep. Oh, that's fucking weird. No, that's, crazy? that's just fucked up. That's bro. fucked yeah. in the head. Bro, that... that your, was, your family's listening to you fucking and your mistress? If they hear... I mean, if they hear it. But I was like... What the fuck? She was telling yeah, me this shit? Know, you I, do that and your kids are on the other side of the room? That shit's wild, bro. Nah, no. Oh, I was like literally wild. a couple I mean, feet uh, away. Like, there's only two walls blocking that. I hope that fool gets a fucking... Fucking hand Bro, athletes are the worst, bro. Athletes are the worst. You ever... Bro, I was talking to this one girl one time. And um, I was on FaceTime with her, and uh, she was like, what the hell? That's weird. And I'm like, what? What happened? She was like, this dude from uh, this professional soccer player just DM'd me. I was like, who? Who? Who was it? And she wasn't telling me the name, and he was like, uh, she was like, uh, oh, it says, um, fuck out, arrow I'm out. It was a striker for LAFC. And I was like, first of all, I love LAFC. <laughs> so I was wearing his jersey, like, what? <laughs> yeah, I was like... This the striker from LAFC just DM'd you. Oh shit! And I was like, I was I was getting a little hurt. I was like, the fuck? Like, imagine this, bro. Not imagine this. Imagine this. I'm imagining. Go, go, go. Your favorite sports team. Mm-hmm. Men fangirl over sports. Yes. We fangirl over other men yes. when it comes to sports. Yes. I have fangirled over this guy. Like, oh my god! Yes, he's yes. Fucking, he's the yeah. He's he saved us, right? Yeah. And this dude wants to fuck my girl. <laughs> what the fuck do I do? Man? Uh you can't do shit. Just sit back shit. and watch, but exactly. Yeah. What the fuck? Like, I was like, bro, this person has a whole ass fucking wife. And I want like oh shit. And if you, and if you fuck your girl, you wait, he's a he's like, a striker he striker or like a not anymore. He's already been traded. Oh, okay. And I you're know. like, fuck oh. yeah. And I was like, I, I was pissed. That. I was like, like I was like, that's it's just a weird dilemma. It's just like, wow, like I really look up to this dude, and he's over here trying to fuck my girl. It's weird. That's a weird thing. But also, he had a wife. Just With weird. kids, they say that it's crazy because they say that whether like yeah, when you're little, a celebrity, like you're bound to cheat. I, I've heard many. I've heard people say that they're like celebrities have a lot of uh like open relationships yeah because it's just part mm. of the job not me though not well, me though you don't I'm, you don't think there's an athlete that was that's loyal yeah for sure like, i think yeah. so like yeah. steph curry or you think steph curry i'm gonna tell you something crazy right now you don't think steph i'm gonna tell you loyal? i'm gonna tell you something crazy bro something insane i'm kind of scared i already know what you're gonna say kind of scared i already know what you're gonna say r.i.p 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 exactly r.i.p oh no, don't what? R.I.P. There's an athlete. R.I.P. I won't say his name. City legend. All right. Goats. I won't say what sport. City legend. Goats. Same girl that told me about this baseball player. 
Mm-hmm. Same girl. Mm-hmm. What? Mm-hmm. Same girl that told me about this baseball player. She said, my best friend slept with this player. And it wasn't too long ago. You're fucking lying. And you know how it was? She was like, she had to go dressed up in like clothes, like as if she's like training, right? And she'll go kind of somewhere like, like she'll get picked up in the middle of the, like in the middle of like a, like a highway, like in the street. Where it's not like, it's not a busy street. She'll get picked up there, get in the car, get dropped off. Like it was this whole lucrative thing for her to, for them to be doing these two things. And the wild part, even now, like he still follows her on Instagram. And that shit, when she told me that shit, bro, I was like, a lot of your friends are cheaters. That shit's crazy. And I stopped talking to her. But I like my, I'm telling you, bro, like my, like every time I hear stories about what happens in, in the cities, yeah. my, I lose my soul a little bit. I'm yeah. like, damn. It, it's, yeah. That was crazy. I'm pretty sure you know how I'm talking about. I know you're talking, yeah, you're yeah, talking yeah. about. Uh, you know, yeah. 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 But uh, it's, it's, I think it's just part of the game, bro. It's it, part it's just, of I the game. I think it's, I, I do believe in a sense a little bit where like there's some, but now, now my whole I know now it's you, such a heartbreaking. Now you just crushed my whole bro. That's not how I felt, cause bro, there's way more details to it. And she was just telling me this. I was like, no fuck. You crushed way. my whole. Life I was right crushed, now. dog. I was like, what the? It was wild, bro. It was wild. I was like, there's no way. But yeah, but she, any proof though, like or? Mm, I mean, the way she just explained how everything happened, it was, was pretty like super pretty, detailed, pretty detailed. And but, I was like, wow. Damn. Yeah, that's uh. That's fucked, bro. I think um, I, I don't believe in that. I don't believe in uh, a famous relationship. I think they're all propaganda or not propaganda. Um, uh, uh, what is it? A facade? Is it a facade? Yeah, a facade. Yeah. Like it's just like it's not real. It's all yeah. It's not for real. the. It's publicity, a publicity, publicity, publicity. Like the Horo Salia Rao publicity stunt. How are you gonna jump from that into Jerry? Shout out to Jeremy Allen Why he's one of my favorite actors, but uh. How are you going to jump from just breaking out with this food for like a month and then just jumping into the other one? Yeah. Uh, I think like all these fucking celebrity Hollywood relationships are all, it's all publicity stuff. Yeah. I don't believe in any of them. I think it's definitely like a, yeah, a bag chase. Like, oh, if you guys combine, because there's been instances of fake relationships yeah. for like, just for like publicity yeah. stunts. So, I mean, I could see that happening. Maybe, for example, like, right, right. Rao was, well, he's still huge, but at the time he was like peaking, he was great songs dropping rosalia great songs dropping like oh have you guys thought about like a relationship oh yeah he's cute like i wouldn't mind it like, and then he'll be like oh yeah like hell yeah she's cute like what if you guys just like what if they just like maybe they don't know they're being set up but they're inviting both of them to same places to kind of like the like the like yeah the, let's put them in a room let, let them work on a song they're gonna fall in love yeah yeah shit like that the one who i do believe that what? they have a fucking like just nice they don't cheat is uh jason kelsey the one who just retired from football uh mm. uh travis kelsey's brother oh yeah yeah like they live a normal the white american family white picket fan yeah type bro shit. like i feel like he like he doesn't cheat on his wife bro i hope not. who's that jason kelsey the fool that just retired remember the travis kelsey and his brother they would play together but that fool jason kelsey just retired at this this mm. was his last oh, okay 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 now i know team i mean yeah, last yeah. uh Super yeah, Bowl. He didn't even make his team didn't even make it a Super Bowl. But I, I am a believer of love, but also I'm a believer of bad people. Yeah. But you can have both, you know. But so don't don't lose hope. They're out there, and if you get fucked over, just don't blame the next person for the mistakes of the person from the the fucked you over. You know, it's the worst thing you want to do. Yeah. The triangle. You know the triangle. Good girl fucks over. Uh, good girl fucks over. Good guy. I mean, bad girl fucks over. Good girl. Bad girl fucks over good guy. Good guy fucks yeah. over bad uh, good girl. Uh-huh. Good girl fucks over. That it's like a yeah. Is that so? Don't break the cycle. <sighs> I'm crushed. You crushed about that one? Uh, yeah, you just, just fucked up on my whole one? life right now. I know it's just weird. I remember what you told me, and I was gonna time. bring his. Yeah, <laughs> it just oh my god. I'm sorry, bro. Like, shit's not real. I'm fabled. I'm fabled. I'm flabbergasted. Flabbergasted. Yeah. Um. So why you hit me with that? I was Sorry. having a good day. Now I gotta go. Now you're in my head right now. Yeah, I gotta go sleep with that shit. Shit, it's crazy. Y'all ready for the football? For the football? Yeah. 
All of a sudden, we got oh, yeah, football, the football, bro. The football. Today's the game. What time's the, time the game? Oh, I thought you said. What time's the game, man? What down is it? Uh, Third down. Like seven? Third down. No, uh, so right now, Chiefs, Michelle playing. Yeah, but the Niners played it, right? What time Niners do they play? Niners played at three. Oh, three. Yeah. What yeah. time do the Chiefs yeah. play? Big house? Big house? No, I got to go home, buddy. Oh, they're so playing right now. Down. Chiefs are up 17 to 7, third down. I mean, third quarter. Well, they're beating Ravens? Yeah, 17 to 7. That's crazy. <coughs> I'm telling you, bro. I, I think it, the, the Super Bowl is. is uh, We're showing on CTV. Rigged is a very strong word. I'm going to just go ahead and say it anyway. I think the Super Bowl is staged, obviously staged mm-hmm. around the Chiefs right Sports now. Sports entertainment. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, yeah, because I mean, they know if Taylor, if Taylor, Swift. if Taylor Swift's team gets to the final, their ratings are gonna be way bigger than ever. Yeah, who's the performer? Usher, right? Usher, uh, Usher. He has some throwbacks. He he's does be, have and he's a dancer. Like he's, he's yeah, gonna, he's a good performer. He's, he's gonna be. He's gonna have all these white girls singing. Yeah, yeah. You know the the most iconic, the most iconic uh, uh-huh. halftime show that will that will never happen. Uh-huh. You know who it would be? What? Mm. And I hope it happens, but I don't think it will happen. Peso Bluma. Chris Brown. Chris Brown at so the you halftime just, you show. Just went, you just went. Zzzz. Now, you Chris went Brown left. doing a halftime show performance. Bro, dude's got bangers. He's got dance moves. You know what would be sick? Um, if he comes out with the Stomp the Yard cast. Attention! Bro, I got shows. I got shows. Not you guys supporting the domestic. Bro, don't beast. start right don't now. Start with <laughs> your, don't start with you. Don't start. Don't do we sit? Don't start with me right now. Not you guys. Don't start oh with your shit. God, you just you, you just acting up because your girl watches. Yeah, it's been fifteen. But, but what song like, was your what's your favorite Chris song? Chris never changes. What was your favorite song that you said that was your favorite oh, song? Huh? Huh? Literally right Excuse before we hit record, he's like, "Oh, play Chris because Brown." Because he put. Nah, nah, bah, nah. Was, was that song you put? Um, <sighs> that sex song was it called? Oh, you put, yeah, so Under the you influence. You always put that sex song. In. You're horny lately. I don't know, but I think that would be so sick with the cast, like a like a sure stump so the yard, hard, fucking. Bro. Oh my I, god! I supported Chris before the beating. <laughs> No, my favorite song is Yo, Excuse Me, Miss. Yo, I, know run it. I never really listened to them, only like the old ones, like the, like the, will you, will you, will you, will you. I heard singing Umbrella. Oh, I saw this in a comment. Someone said it. I think it was Jess oh. from Yo Sabo. Was there? I, some, uh, someone, I saw this in a comment. They said, thinking about it. if you sing Umbrella together, it curses your relationship. It's a curse in your relationship if you sing Umbrella together. Like you're like if y'all karaoke umbrella, it, the what about in the car? Ends. I don't know. Mm. And that's so true because I remember one time we had a, we had a, a karaoke night here at my house, and we were all like we're all singing umbrella, and there's these two girl best friends that are singing umbrella, and not, and they're looking at each other like singing it, and their relationship just hit the fucking ground like that shit crumbled into mm. pieces. Because supposedly one girl was sleeping with the other man. With the man. Oh. Hey, hey. Let's not talk about it, though. Hey, let's get it. Let's talk about it on the Patreon, though. Hey. Damn, that's crazy. Stump the Yard, Stump the Yard. That's one of my I'll favorite be, movies, bro. Stump the Yard is one of my favorites. I'll, I'll be honest. We will never have another Chris. <laughs> no. I just I, wish he never did that. But it's hard. But I do believe he will, he's probably one of the best artists we had. Yeah, he's an undeniable. Just, that's the thing. But he will only get his flowers after he dies. A hundred percent. A hundred percent sucks. Even even if he but, dies, you're still gonna have the women who hate him because he hit another woman, which I don't condone in that at all. Mm-hmm. They're still gonna though. be like, good, 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 good. Yeah. So yeah, but you know? we cannot deny. I know. Oh, I know. Girls like saying, "Oh, you can't separate the artist from the music." But okay, let's separate it for once. Uh huh. That motherfucker can't like from Michael Jackson and tell him I like I love your style. I love the way you dance. Come on, bro. Michael Jackson just don't tell anyone that. Exactly. Think about That's that. True. He's one to be one told of the that best by as we had out here. Yeah, from our era. Who the, who the who else is dancing? He would have been the and next putting Michael a Jackson. full performance doing backflips. Who yeah. name an, name another one right now? No. Kaysenat, Kaysenat. He's the most recent celebrity I've seen do a backflip. <laughs> We're talking <totally No>. about <laughs> performance. That's the only person I I've mean, seen do a backflip. Performance just right usher, now that usher Rao. Rao. I, I like Rao. Rao's actually us. doing backflips yeah. with his dad. Oh, He's yeah. He life. is He is like the Chris Brown embodiment. Well, he, his role model is like Chris is, Brown. Yeah, he is. Yeah, he he loves body. Chris Brown. Yeah. He's the Puerto Rican Chris Brown. Yeah. yeah. He does. Ooh, I fuck with Rao. Rao, Rao. What's another artist? I can say Doja Cat. 
What the fuck? She doesn't do backflips. She does backflips. She on does the dance. Dick. She, she, fucking, she is a she dancer. She does though. fucking demonic backflips on the she, wall. She, yeah, is she a levitates. <laughs> Give her props. She's from LA. She's a dancer. She's she's on like she's headlining. This girl's like yeah. Doja Cat is uh. Oh, it's laptop time. But she does backflips. <laughs> okay, for the show, bro. No, I was just gonna bring up photos. He's like, like oh, I was gonna bring up photos of Doja Cat. <laughs> oh yeah, put her when she used to be thick back. Yeah, in the day. Doja Cat when she first started, bro. I got that Gucci Gucci. Watermelon. I keep it juicy. juicy oh juicy. my I god. That lun, lun. I, yeah, did, 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 did. Yeah. I wish you could. If you can see it from the front, wait till you see it from the, the back. back. But that that line is crazy, bro. It's like church, church, church. That she changed everything with that line right I there. I wish she should, she could go back to her being thick. You know, it's know funny that I think she went Instagram live or on a on a on a. On a I'll be honest, like she's, in an interview? she's like my. She said, "I hear people are telling me I'm demonic. Like, what the fuck, like, bitch? You are." I saw that, bro. Was she's that? No, dumb. I think it was 2018. What? Watermelon, melon. Oh my fucking god. So who knows about? Come on, guys. So how do you this know about this? music video was already? wild. That era was crazy. The cherry. Ah, Why well, we're fangirling right now? Over we're fangirling, bro. I ain't gonna hold you. She's like my like number one like crush. Like oh yeah, black yeah. girls. Like I love like yeah. Geez. Other than yeah. Beyonce, I I I don't. I'm not. I'm not a Beyonce. Beyonce. You're not a fan of Be- 2004 Beyonce. Nah. I never what? really, I never I really, really not get into it. No, I'm not talking about her music. I'm talking about like, oh, like the way she looks, nah, her beauty. No, nah, not my type. Mm-hmm. What? No. Nah. Yeah. Megan Good to me. Megan Good. Who's Megan Good? You don't know Megan Good? No. <sighs> so we're living under a rock. Who's Megan Good? From Stomp the Yard. She came out of Stomp the She's Yard. The girl. One of the most beautiful, like, oh, Lauren London. Mm, Megan Good's all right. I'm looking at her. You don't like now. Lauren London? No, not after she did uh, my boy. Who's your boy? Hey. Talking Michael about Jordan? Catherine Pratt. Oh, no, that was Catherine. That's, that's, Catherine Single now? Catherine? Who's that? Catherine. What's her last name? Catherine what? We're talking about black girls right now. Austin. Dude? <laughs> not, not Mexican girls. Austin McBroom's, uh, <laughs> Austin McBroom's ex. So, She's single so now? She's single now? With her now. No. Catherine yeah, pa- Pais? But Pais? I was never a, I never really Beyonce fan, to be honest. I don't get the hype. Uh-huh. I don't like that the people are like, oh my God, queen. Like, she's the queen. Like, they fucking. Who, who are you talking about? Praise her. Who? Beyonce. Oh. Like people, I mean, people praise her. Like, for she is the queen. I mean, yeah, cool to you guys. Like, you queen of what? You can't name like of that genre. Just singing R and B. I could say the thing is, I have no room to talk because like I've never you heard. Never I, I don't like that's not my. Well, her music does. Yeah, it's not my style. It doesn't. It, no? It's not I, for me. I for mean, me, I, I was a big fan of Destiny Child. You know, I need a. Oh, okay, that yeah. I need a soldier. Like it's just just sexy, bro. I was like a little kid watching her. Like, oh my god, like. Yeah, she's a beautiful, light skinned. You know what I was girl, listening you know? to back then? Who? I was listening to Destiny's Child. Who? I was listening to like fucking NSYNC, huh? like '90s rap. Like I was like, "Have you ever like what's the dude thing? Have you ever seen Chevy with a butterfly door?" David, oh, what's his name? Oh, David Banner. David Banner. David Banner. I feel like I was listening to Mortal Technique. I was on the, the game. Devil, the devil. <laughs> Hell no. With the devil. That's with the devil. I was on some fucking. I met a young William. <laughs> <laughs> And I met a young kid. His name was William. His primary concern was making a million. <laughs> nah. Now, David Banner had a lot of girls. David Banner was fucking... Ooh. That was my dude. See, in the 90s? Yeah. In the 90s? Or well, the early 96? 2000s. Yeah, early 2000s. I was born 96. But early 2000s, bro, I was just reggaeton, bro. Lil Wayne, Lollipop. Lollipop, yes. Call me. Yes. I'm not going to get it. Juicy for you. Call, call me. 3-6 yeah. Mafia. It gets me how, how you're a big Justin Bieber fan. Fuck no. Let's be honest, baby. Bro. When it came out, I knew you were on it. Nah, bro. I was like, you were, every bro. Sunday at six a.m., I would wake up to watch the Sucker Free Countdown on MTV Two. Damn, I forgot Ooh. about that. That was me every Sunday six a.m. with the two dogs. Yeah, yeah. Two I was on that religiously. And after that, it was MTV Cribs. Then after that was uh, Next. Then after that was Room Raiders. Mm. I was on MTV Two. I lived on MTV. I should have been like. If I would have stuck around, I could have been like a, a music journalist, but I, I went out of that. I started playing video games. I was in, I was like invested. You were watching cele- Celebrity Dead Ma- Deathmatch? Yeah. On a Sunday afternoon? Yeah, I forgot Celebrity Deathmatch. That was the best. The fucking little Play-Doh motherfuckers. Yeah, I was on MTV too. I like. was outside wrestling, watching like, like just wrestling. Because I was into You want to be a WWE superstar? Oh, yeah. Honestly, same. But, um... I think that'll wrap up today's episode. I think it was good and juicy. It was good, right? Y'all fuck with it? 
Mm-hmm. But before we continue, we're going to shout out our friends at Patreon. If you guys don't know what Patreon is, you're literally missing out. Like, you are missing out. And we've just made it easier for you if you didn't listen to the part in the beginning. You can now listen to it on the Spotify app. So connect your Patreon with your Spotify. And uh, you can listen to us on Spotify. So uh, we're going to start off with our sh- booty collars. Your third. Start up with ASAP Joel. Joel or Joel. ASAP Joel. ASAP. Joel. As soon as possible. Uh, Carla Corazon. Carla. It's What's up, corazon. Carla? It's my corazon. Carla with the C. <laughs> Carla oh, with the C. Weird. You're weird. Andy, no love. <laughs> What's up, we Andy? Love you, bro. Danali. Danali. Hey. Danelli. Danelli. Oh, the oh shit. What's up, Danelli? Steffi <laughs> Guevara. Guevara. Steffi Guevara. What's up, Steffi? Hey. What's up, Steffi Guevara? Valerie Garcia. Garcia. Valerie Garcia. What's up? Evelyn Martinon. Eva- Evelyn. What's up, Evelyn? How you Evelyn doing? Martinon. Pedro. No itches. Lopez. No itches? No, no itches? no itches. What do you mean? You got to... You got a little pecker? Are you saying like no bitches and you yeah. forgot the beer or what? Or is that a little no pecker? No, no pecker. Bitches, little bitch. Jacqueline Ibarra Star. What's up, Jacqueline? How you doing? Jessica Flores. What's up, Jessica? How you doing? Juan <laughs> Caranza. What's up, Juan Caranza? How you doing? <laughs> <laughs> Your favorite, Margarita. Hey, Margarita, what's up? Do, do it one more. How you doing? <laughs> Robert to Hoochie. We got a lot of Hoochie. Robert to Hoochie. What's up? All right, the next one, let's do it together. Adan Alvarado. Adan Alvarado, Alvarado how, how you doing? doing? Juan Tree Jumping Pupus. I love it. Stanley <laughs> Salao. Oh how, how you doing? I love his doing? name, bro. How you doing? Last one, he knows Vamos. Oh, yeah, they, they want us on their pod. Run when, it. when? Uh, the, uh, the, tap the, in, tap in, tap in. Yeah, yeah, the message, the, the group. I mean, the, yeah, the oh, page. I haven't, I haven't seen it. Yeah, seen. The, uh, the last week of February. Mm. You guys down? They you guys down? You responded back? Yeah, I responded back. I'm going to talk to you guys. Right, right, right. <laughs> I haven't said shit. <laughs> <laughs> see, it's his fault. My now. bad, you guys watching the live. What do you look, mean we all share accounts? You guys haven't. I didn't see it. Obviously, yeah. if you responded you guys down, back. You guys down yeah, live down, right down, now? Down, 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 down. Little Liz Wait, what? Do what? Let's go on their pod, three of us. Right now, right now? What? No, no like oh, the end of February. Oh, yeah, yeah. I'm down. Let's run, let's run, 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 run. Okay, you guys seen live action. Look at this. Alexia Tovar. Tovar. Alexia. That's the best. Can't afford you. Oh, ah, can't afford yeah. it. Boost it up, fifty bucks. What's up? What? 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 You do not love us, or what? What? Come on. Chino Aguilar. Chino. Hey, Chino's good. He his his arm got healed. Oh, he's he's healing. He's, he's healing. Yeah, nice. he's gonna go back on the fixing tires on the road. Hell yeah, he's doing good, bro. Yeah, bro. Jocelyn Alvarez. Jocelyn. Jocelyn Alvarez. Razor Ramon Hedges Flores. What's up? To the cities. Sleep at Saul's house. <laughs> Jonathan. Hey, Jonathan. Uh, the smartphone tier. Strong man. This man. No one's taking his throne. That as Alvaro Benitez. What's up, Alvaro? How hey, you doing? How you doing? <laughs> Benitez, raise it up 100. You're not down. Booty caller, Kike y la novia Perez. Kike, what's up, Kike? What does that mean, y la novia? Y la novia? Like when they tell you y la novia? Oh, okay, okay. So I'm at single. Singles bring That's crazy. He's still single. It's crazy. <laughs> Sandra Gonzalez. Sandra. What's up, Sandra? How you doing? Karen you doing? Cita. Ooh. Ah. <laughs> Georgina Nunez. Georgina. Georgina. Yes, Oscar Martinez. Oscar, what's up, dog? Scott. And crazy ass Breezy Wera Loquita. Breezy Wera Loquita, how you doing? I doing. Like, going back, I feel like he can spend his money on us. That's why he can't get a girl. Like he can't go on dates because he's spending it on us. <laughs> yeah. hey. We're his girlfriend. Hell yeah, valid. Hey. hey. Thank you guys so much for subscribing. Uh, make sure to follow me on every social media platform at Saul V Gomez. Make sure to follow me on Instagram, TikTok. You already know Rex V. Hey, just. Give me the <laughs> how the pretty boy go. Hey, hey. Uh, do this? the pretty boy sign down. Do the pretty boy shit. <clears throat> hey, uh, you, you know you can follow me on on, on Instagram. You know uh, Hans underscore Uh Follow me on TikTok, Hans. Uh, shit, two S's, uh, four fours. I mean three fours. Um. Yeah, you know, <laughs> some light. Stay um, posted. Yeah, you know. Tight shit, tight shit. Tight shit, tight shit. Tight shit. <laughs> um, 
<laughs> but yeah, you know, I'm 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 gonna let y'all go though, for real. Yeah, it's subscribe type shit. It's subscribe type shit. <laughs> you know what I'm right. saying? <laughs> mahalo. Mahalo though. Mahalo. Mahalo, mahalo though. Shout out to oh. all. I want. And Samoans. And Samoans. Islands, all that. And if you're from anywhere else, so let us know in down in the comments yeah. down below. And we're not racist. Let us know where you're watching from. <laughs> just a little bit, just a little bit. Let us know. So is, <laughs> let us know where you're watching from. Yeah, let us know yeah. where you're watching. We're watching for new. We have any New Zealand uh, watchers? Any New Zealand watchers? Any, any Switzerland? Because I want to go to Switzerland. Yeah. Any let, us get, let us stay at your house. Duh. Right? Yeah. All right, guys. Bye. Bye. Bye.